Hello and good evening everybody. Welcome back for some Civ Seasons action. We are going to take a look today on CVFR Squadron's qualifiers. It looks like we do have another game over here for the boys to make up their minds who's going to be Division 3 or who's going to go Division 4. Confi... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Confitorings actually is a team that um, is smushed between two teams actually like, like Confitur and um, uh, the former Les Ornitorings Roses. It looks like uh, I think it's the second team of the Les Ornitorings Roses. I'm not sure about this. I'm going to actually take a look uh, with you together uh, on their roster over here. I do have it um, <clears throat> separately opened. Uh, let's me, uh, let us uh, take a look on the map. We do have uh, Rich Highlands as the map for tonight and it looks like it might actually go for quite some time. Uh, we're going to need to see how the players are actually going to you know, try to choose their civilizations on this map. Immediately Maori is going to be taken out and in the meantime while the players are choosing let me actually put up my charts and say hello to everybody over here. Fallens, good evening sir and welcome. I do see Martinus. Good evening sir and welcome. Welcome. Deep Beasley. Uh, always a pleasure to see you sir. Welcome sir. Uh, I mean Alien is a so plot different it's basically a haunted mansion in space with a killer well yes yes but you kind of need to make the haunted mansion getting there as uh, logical I, I don't know it's believable that's what I, I that's the only thing i'm asking you know just don't uh, do too many curves around the subject uh also uh, give me a second. Uh, Zimos, hello there, sir, and uh, welcome. Uh, your kids hero. Hello, hello there, sir. Hope they change Bermuda Triangle. Let's actually see if we actually have Bermuda Triangle in the game. Um, also, Zimos, uh, did I say hello? If I didn't, uh, hello there, sir, and uh, welcome. Thank you so much for the comments over here. I, I don't really want to comment on what other people uh, did. A lot of the times, as you've seen, I don't actually comment on the same videos uh, on YouTube. I mm, thought a lot about reaction videos. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence with them. Uh, CG, good evening, sir, and welcome. Hello, sir. Hello, there, sir. Good evening. And I do also notice, um, wait a second, they basically actually put up uh, that first promotion. He got it. Good evening. Thank you so much, sir, and welcome. Um, best view. Oh, wow. 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 I think uh, he needs to go, man. I think he needs to go. Uh, there's uh, something in my chat that actually is... Um, yeah, he needs to go. Ban. There we go. I'm sorry about this. It is what it is. Please don't spam much uh, URLs of uh, sites over here. Um, Bordanian, also hello there, sir, and uh, welcome. Haven't seen that in a while. Mali ban. Well, it looks like with the new version of VBG, we do have quite a few new bans. I do have to mention, unfortunately, because I need, I did need to catch up with other things. I didn't actually get to uh, make the video for BBG, but you can find it, uh, find out the patch notes on the CPL.gg website. I did update over there the page with uh, all of the... Um, with all of the details um it's right there on the front page just latest version of bbg click on the image click on the button boom you get to see the patch notes uh i do also want to come back to the game here it looks like ledo reeves is going to be on the left side we got uh, le confiture um no sorry le confiture inks on the right side uh we do have uh, coupe mali mansa musa being taken out by ledo reeves uh, with um Macedon and ethiopia remember this is rich highlands and um i'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more land than naval powers in this game and a lot more uh, land action than evil action in this game so we do need to see what kind of land civilizations they're going to try to put on the uh, battlefield so they can win this game with uh, one of the victory conditions even if it is conceded it's still considered a victory condition now we do have on the right side the chandra gupta being taken out and also um, uh, Genghis Khan, Mongolia. I do also notice um, Byzantium, Theodora, and Kublai Khan are going to be taken out from uh, this roster over here. Give me a second so I can uh, put up my chats in order over here. J -j 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 there we go. Baxter, hello there, sir, and uh, welcome. Uh, also, Rich Island is going to be a long game indeed. It does uh, seem like uh, we're going to need to get ready with a lot of popcorn, quite a bit of coffee, some um, good moods, and uh, let's see the game tonight. And these players are again are fighting to get into uh, Division 3. You can imagine it actually impacts their whole season in what kind of division they're going to be. And I'm pretty sure both teams do want to learn from playing with better players. So being in a higher division is quite, quite something for them. Uh, we do have fun, uh, Last ban before the picks from Ledo Reeves. It looks like goal is going to be taken out. I do want to take a little bit of time and put uh, the map over here uh, on the screen. Reach Highlands as big as uh, everybody should see it. Okay, it should. Yeah, it should be seen by everybody over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, it should be fine. It should be fine. Okay. 
Uh, best land civ is Tokugawa. <laughs> well, to be honest, uh, you're not that wrong. It's a very good civilization overall, right? Uh, I do see Scythia is also going to be taken out by um, Lekofito Rings. So they're not going to want to have those uh, Saka horse archers on the map over here. And it kind of makes sense. I mean, those are kind of, you know, deadly units uh, if they are used appropriately. Uh, I do see... Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Kundiata, uh, Kundiata, I think it's Kundiata, right? Uh, it's, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Sundiata, Sundiata, Keita, Sundiata Keita is going to be the first leader that's going to be picked by Ledo Reeves. We're actually going to see a Mali in the game. I think it's been like, what, five months, more than five, almost a year since we've actually seen uh, Sundiata in the game. I think so, right? Does anybody know? <laughs> Let's go Vietnam. That's also might be an option over here. And we do need to see how uh, the players are. Um... Oh, there we go. Korea. Sundok is going to be picked up by um, Le Confitorings on the right side. Uh, give me a second. I do want to double check something because I'm not hearing something. Okay, there we go. I wasn't hearing this. We should be fine right now. And uh, also uh, this, this. Mm -mm -mm. this this no no okay this okay there we go there we go there we go i think i needed to do this right uh, i think uh, you can hear me a little bit better right now okay there we go close enough with uh, korea seondok i'm not sure if that's so close to vietnam but it is definitely both of them do have um, their specific way of uh, playing uh, we do have uh, seondok over here benefiting a lot from those uh, seons while uh, on the other side we would have had the uh, vietnam benefiting from the thans well let's actually see second sieve is going to be picked up uh, egyptian cleopatra is going to be the choice on the right side we do need to see how egyptian cleopatra is going to get to use his uh, mariano jared archers against his opponent or if he's going to get the opportunity uh, with seen it multiple times how with Menanki plus uh, Lady of the Reeds and Marshes uh, plus a uh, few floods and Liang equals love so we definitely need to see how, how that is gonna go through uh we do have another choice here from Ledo Reeves I have serious question marks about Sundiata Keita being picked up uh, first so definitely want to see how they're gonna follow this up it looks like it will be a world nation a nation like Lotaro over here is definitely gonna do uh, gonna have the opportunity to do damage on land against his opponents <laughs> well unless he's gonna be in a corner of the map somewhere for garden and, try and made to sim uh, of course the players do have remap tokens and uh, we will need to see if they will actually let Lotaro be in a corner or he will get in somewhere with um, hmm, uh, an attack vector against an opponent uh, we do have um, another four bands that need to be picked from both sides. Uh, Le Confitorings uh, are going to need to pick up their two, and they do have the first band over here. I do have to say uh, they will also get their third choice, and then Ledo Reeves are going to need to pick up their full roster. That uh, will give them an opportunity to actually get the last word in this is going to be important what kind of uh, civilization they're going to pick to counter their opponents on the left side ledo reeves we've seen before ledo reeves uh, play we've seen um like confiture DRL play we've seen also les ornitorings roses play i do hope uh, we're gonna have quite an interesting game tonight i'm pretty sure we do uh Cree on the right side by uh, Le confiturings is um gonna be the ban and uh, yes ledo reeves on the left side do still need to pick up two saves here uh, don't you want sieves like uh, Simon and Vietnam with extra movement on this map? I think so. I think you kind of want them. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, they did take out uh, Kublai, Mongolia and Genghis Khan. Both of them with the Ordos would have had extra movement. They're definitely aware um, it, uh, They're definitely aware about the possibility of getting attacked from an early stage of the game. And of course, we're going to need to see how things are going to evolve here. Uh, good morning, Fortuna Belli. Hello, there, sir, and uh, welcome. Well, uh, Uzetian is going to be taken out by uh, Ledo Reeves. <laughs> that means uh, like Confitorings are going to need to get their last ban over here on the table. While, uh, well, we're going to need to wait for them. Another 1 minute and 40 seconds and we will see. We will see all of the bans. Well, it's going to take a little bit of time after that uh, to actually get the last four choices in. But it's fine. It should be fine. It should be fine. Um, let's actually take a look at this. Le so, Le Confitorings are uh, made up of uh, Elro here, Tortank, uh, uh, Jessica Mutsny, um, Jero, Tompet, MC Beton, Mergus, and Bobby. Here. And in the game, we do have... Wait a second. No. So, MC Beton, uh, Tom, uh, Tom Prut is um, over here. And it looks 
looks like whoa 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 we'll, we'll find those i think uh, some names are actually changed over here jeru is also from le confitorings and of course there needs to be one more which i don't I, it might be the one that uh, didn't actually join over here there is a player missing from this or maybe wait a second maybe it is uh, kea bambi uh, maybe it is bambi over here is the first one uh, on the side of led Reeves, uh, you can see they are right now in division four and again fighting for the slot in division three with uh, telio bulldozer shadow shall work uh, wait shocker 57 fun morty kiabi okay there we go and yeah, bambi is actually on ledo reeves a uh, find us is on ledo reeves and the fan man with spike are also over here on uh, the right side let's uh, see what's going on we'll see what's going on uh catherine de medici the black queen has been taken out one more bad remaining and it is all in the hands of ledo reeves over here remember they need to take out a sieve that uh Le Confito rings are gonna like ah uh, mm -mm, they took out tamar i mean honestly i don't have minded uh, some tamar gameplay but i do have to say like the Beasley saying over here in the chat uh, uh we got uh, simon bolivar in the game we got shaka in the game there are quite a few civilizations that we could do a lot of damage here now we do have hungary also available for them and they did pick it that means uh control of the city states uh, will probably happen over here and they, this is kind of a counter to what ledo reeves wanted to happen right they they uh banned tamar they definitely didn't want to have that in and the hungary was just ah oh oh wait a second i can actually get free envoys from city states nobody's gonna contest me ah no problem man and uh, we've seen it multiple times how hungary can actually do so much damage now i think Think, wait a second oh 57 fan is saying that uh, they picked russia as the last pick over here so um and we're gonna need to see uh leco fito rings uh, picking one as well so we do have on the side of ledo reeves it's gonna be russia with shaka with mapuche and the uh, sundiata keita uh, while on the right side the leco fito rings are gonna have korea egyptian cleopatra hungary and another save we're uh, not uh we're not knowing we don't know yet night Road, hello there sir and uh, welcome uh how is it going it's pretty good it's pretty good still uh, handling trying to handle the uh, how to say the heat over here in uh, it's still quite hot in bucharest i'm not sure if you passed uh, 40 degrees but it's been like constantly 38 39 around there now uh, for quite some time now now uh, it's a uh, different heat though different heat like two weeks ago we barely were we were basically cooking in our homes now a little bit different uh it looks like spain is also going to be the last choice for the confito rings that's a very powerful nation that definitely is um a good choice we do need to actually get into the correct slot and uh well let's see how this is gonna go um highlands okay egypt, egypt okay. um that's a good question if highlands is okay for egypt that's actually a good question which i actually am uh, gonna look at the answer uh, i'm gonna look for the answer myself usually it should be fine even if you do have a lot of um, hills um e egyptian cleopatra should spawn uh, quite close to rivers and because of its uh, river bias and quite close to flood plains now we're gonna need to see how many tiles is he gonna benefit from uh, to get all of those uh, bonuses would have been quite fun if uh, somebody actually tried to pick something like Sumeria to get into that uh, flat plane bonus. But anyway, uh, we're uh, also going to need to wait over here to uh, swap with uh, Kiambi, Kia Bambi. Uh, so we get into the spectator slot and we're just waiting for the players uh, to join. Uh, this sounds like you are uh, heat proven. Yeah, it seems like, yeah, forced under heat. What can I say? And under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, Jeru, okay, sure, okay. I swapped with Jeru. That's all, all fine now. All fine. Okay. Uh, we just uh, need to check the zero MS again. Hopefully, there's no problems, and then we're gonna go. Uh, give me a second. I didn't see this properly. Okay, there we go. Why do I see mods missing? Oh my God, he doesn't have BBG. Whoa wow okay it's fine it's fine actually he got bbg in uh, for some reason in the meantime he got bbg i really hope this is not gonna cause a bit of a problem in the you know <laughs> you know in the game in, in that lobby that we're gonna get in in just a few minutes um i do also want to point out we do have um uh, bbg on its uh, final version uh, after the beta uh, we do not have the beta anymore being played out through the communities so it's going to be bbg 601 uh, more information on the cpl.gg website in the bbg category uh dino dingo hello there sir and uh, good evening uh, good enough my hair good enough 
Okay, so uh, it's going to be quite important for them uh, to pick up their um, um, slots in order of priority for the civilizations and what they want to do in the game. It does seem like they're going to prioritize Sundiata Keita and Cleopatra first. Both of them are probably going to go commercials over here, no? Sugubas on one side and on the other side, the Cleopatra Egyptian definitely wants his uh, commercials. Uh, and we do ne definitely need to see how the land is going to look. This will give them priority when it comes down to wonders, when it comes down to great people. It is a very good bonus to have um it should be the only the host modes that matter that would be a good feature oh my god yes yes i yes i i can only say yes Ugh. We don't know what's going to happen. We actually don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, again, I, I guess I feel like a broken record. There was very little, extremely little information about the game. Extremely little about Civ 7. Very little. Like, we have so many questions that would definitely change our view on the game. And uh, right now, I did see there are a lot of assumptions being made without a clear base behind them and uh, we're going to need to see um, if those assumptions actually come true or it is going to be just um, talk um, wait and even less about MP uh, I mean they never actually put MP as their um, Oh, and I don't think anybody, um, or at least I didn't, uh, expect them to put MP in the front stage, to be honest. Let, let's be honest about this. Um, um, my hope is they will actually have a working MP system uh, by the time uh, the game gets out. Just, that's, my only, that's my only hope. And hopefully better than this one. I'm just saying, you know, better than this one. A man has a, uh, must have dreams, right? A man uh, must have dreams. Uh, the last Egypt I saw was under the heat of the cells. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, at the very least, I hope it's mod friendly. Yeah, that's another good thing. That's another thing. Yes, yes. We'll see. We'll see. Like, um, uh, we got quite a bit of waiting to do, and I'm pretty sure there will be more videos coming out uh, talking about uh, everything. Uh, that's how uh, we kind of got used to it, right? The game needs to be hyped up somehow, and uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna try to, um, um, now to say, reveal all of the mechanics and uh, reveal the graphics and so on um, in time until the release of uh, the actual game on Steam. We'll see. Now, at the moment, I do have to say, I didn't really hear that much uh, positive feedback about uh, the trailer or its uh, presentation maybe it was the trailer maybe it was the movie i don't know i don't know it is what it is feedback is feedback Okay, so Stulius is actually going to pick uh, Sundok on the last slot over here. It looks like uh, Fairman did actually um, rejoin and we definitely need to see how what kind of CFC is he gonna get it looks like this time around he doesn't have a problem with the mods we didn't have any more uh you know not mod missing uh, notifications over here uh, we do need to see two four five two four five slots being um chosen it looks like uh, Jeru Tomprat uh, with uh, 57 fan Fairman and Findus are still thinking about their choices I do have to mention also during this weekend I uh, um I will stream uh, two of the new competitions, Rooster Cup on the Sunday and also a three-legged race on um, uh, tomorrow, on Saturday. Both of the games are going to start at 1800 GMT and we definitely have quite a few things to uh, take a look at, especially the Iron Man on Sunday, the Rooster Cup uh, second one. Ooh! that's gonna be a juicy game uh tomorrow since we do have quite a few players lined up over here we're gonna put up uh, i'm still working on the confirmations but it looks like we do have uh, 10 confirmed players i'm just uh, waiting to see if there's gonna be anybody that uh, might pull out or we'll need to get in and so on and so forth uh because that's what happened last time so until i we actually reveal the full um, um i would say list of players we're gonna need a bit of time uh, to give them so uh, we do know the full answers and we don't start switching uh, players tomorrow of course that might happen anyway but uh, at least we do try to actually uh, work around it uh, let me see i have faith bbg models are the best well they're very good they're very good what can i say uh it is, it's been quite a long road but it, it is i gotta say civ 6 might be a bit too much competition for civ 7 do you guys agree like right now civ 6 with all of the mods with all of the tools with all like the community the resources that we actually did manage to get for uh, civ 6 right now i think it's in a good spot i think it's in a very good spot 
now it's gonna be a challenge if the new version is gonna beat this just saying it's a hard actually challenge for them not for us it's a challenge for them to actually um, rise above the expectations right and that's probably why uh, uh, a lot of you are actually asking so many questions over here because yeah we we want to know we want to know can they go above this Huh? Uh, Shaka is going to be played by Fatman. I do see Findus is going to go or find us. I don't know how to actually. It's Findus or find us. Uh, I guess, whoo, totally different meanings. Uh, Lotaro, he's going to play Lotaro. He's going to be the damage dealer over here. The wrecking ball of the game. 57 fan is going to go for Peter. Which I think we've seen him multiple times play Peter. And he did quite well. I would expect uh, just the same today. Now, well, let's actually see how uh, Jeru and Tom Brett are going to choose their sieves here. They're both from the same team. And we still have have quite a few choices for them to go for right uh, let's see whoa 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 uh did we see some dog yes last slot hungary we don't know where hungary is so uh, hungary needs to be picked up and also spain needs to be picked up i don't think it matters that much their positioning over here uh, like for example for philip the second maybe it's gonna matter in wonders maybe it's gonna matter in uh I would say uh, some great people like scientists, but most of the time I'm pretty sure he's actually going to do projects rather than just to passively wait for those points to get in. Um, and I'm pretty sure also he uh, will need to think about starting off with harbors, benefiting later on in the game from those shipyards. Now it's rich highlands, it's not a map that gives you a lot of water bodies to actually uh, settle your cities in. And uh, that's definitely going to be a challenge also for Philip II. It's not unheard of that we actually will see quite a few big um, oceans, it's just it's not guaranteed that Philip the second will be on them you know what i mean <laughs> um let's see if seven plus two dlcs might be can compare let's see if, uh, yeah let's see i can't bet against uh, spain and egypt on the same team oh my god that's so much gold man that is that is so much gold and hungary i gotta say and hungary all three of these are gonna make so much gold together and let's put up uh, the remap addiction for today and let's see how uh, uh, everybody's gonna feel about this uh, how many remaps? 0, 1, 2. I did also put up the prediction for on uh, YouTube to see if we can actually get to 40 likes over there. And don't uh, remember, if you do have a little bit of time, just open up that stream and give it a like. Thank you so much. Um, I do also want uh, to click on buttons over here to close the screen. There we go. And uh, close this. And uh, click this. Click this. Okay, this. Just setting my things uh, in order over here so I can see everything on uh, one single window on the right side, on the left side. Okay, so now uh, let's see what do we have over here. When are we starting chat? When are we starting? Are we going left or are we going right? When are we going? Chad needs to make a decision. It's one of the most decision, most important decisions in the game over here. When are we starting to comment? Are we going to take a look at Korea on the left side? Seondok over there or Sundiata Keita, which we haven't seen in a long time uh we're going right ah uh, makes sense the busy makes sense let's actually take a look on uh, sundiata where is he on the map and how is he gonna get his game going is this him yeah does does look like him can be over here he's gonna get his um uh desert let me actually open up uh, sundiata keita's um how to say uh profile over here patronage of great people cost 30 percent less gold so he can buy them easier and we do have theater squares uh, granting standard adjacency to sugubas uh, so he will Definitely get incentivized to build more theater squares. Uh, series with a Suguba and theater square receive plus one grade writer points. Um, extra probably. Uh, markets gain uh, two slots for great works of writing. And series founded by Mali. Great works of writing grant four gold and two culture. Now on Mali, you do get the minus 15% um, production penalty towards all production across the board. It's across the board. Mines uh, do receive uh, minus one production and four gold. While the series will receive one food for each desert tile adjacent to your city center no more faith ah it is it is there is a bit of faith cities receive one faith they own for at least two desert tiles around the city so he is receiving at least one faith because of the oasis in this one and the one and two food because of this and by the looks of it he's making that faith she should be fine you do see he's growing in two tens just by working the two two over there and i do notice he's gonna have some truffles to uh, improve we do have also oh my god actually a pie tt in the desert for mali really i mean really oh my god really man <laughs> anyway i'm pretty sure you know where he's gonna settle next right 
We don't have that much desert for him, and of course we do need to see how he's gonna place his uh, Suguba slash Theater Square slash Gavron Plaza slash any other district placement. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to actually not put that many on, uh, how to say, not put that many mines on the desert hills. Oof. At least he has a spot for pyramids, you know, and we can be happy about this. Let's go forward and talk about uh, Shaka over here. We do have Shaka in the southeast part of the map, just uh, around the corner from Russia. Uh, they are um, friends, so that's not going to be a problem for them to actually trade with each other or uh, share the land here. It doesn't seem like um, Shaka really wants to go into the south anyway, right? You, you do see he doesn't really have anywhere to settle. Uh, and I do have to mention, since the ice is so far uh, to the north, this, these are not not settles anymore this is not an even coastal uh, spawn no, not even um, yeah coastal spawn they have fresh water now anyway we do have him uh, with available options to go to settle towards the north and i do see a possible goddess of the hunt over here for him definitely a lot of ivory tiles to improve and get the gold from uh, in the north he's gonna have egyptian uh, cleopatra mc beton over there is uh, gonna need to defend himself from zulu later on in the game or maybe attack him when he's weak although i kind of doubt it with all of this land over here to be honest i do have to say there's only one tile or like two tiles blocking a highway from Rakedes borders to um, uh, to the site of Zulu over here you do see all of this flat terrain over here that is actually just gonna be ooh, so fast if he gets his movement going correctly I do see uh, also the scout coming out next turn is gonna allow him to start exploring the territory a lot of uh, a lot of horses a lot of horses two horses in the capital here I'm moving towards uh, Russia to the southeast and the south of Nalanda I do notice 57 fan is gonna have a decent amount of tundra to play with uh, and these lakes to actually give him the fresh water in this uh, you do see that he's gonna have at least like one two three four five cities in the tundra even more if he wants to go to further east side over here since also he has another ally on the east side so this is this kind of feels like his culture waiting room over here Woo! russia might actually run away with the game uh, we do have uh, to see of course uh, how he's gonna try to make up for all of the problems of food generation and housing in this uh, non non actually uh, how to call it uh, non um, freshwater situation if he will need to place and i'm pretty sure he will try to place cities uh, in non freshwater positions uh, to try to get that population working more districts and more everything Whoa, old triangle. Good evening, sir. Thank you so much for the that 32 months. Primer. Thank you, sir. Old triangle eight. <laughs> Also, um, good evening, good evening, sir. Sir Magdador Mundi. Hello, there's a long time no see. How have you been? Uh, I do see also Andy Reo. Bonsoir, monsieur, bienvenue. Uh, welcome, welcome, sir. Ah, he got the pop up too. He did, he did. Oh, let's pop up. <laughs> let's pop up. Let's see. Pop up. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's see how, how this is gonna go it looks like um, we do have a setter coming up in five turns here from St. Petersburg and um, it does seem like uh, Russia well it does have the food it's more a problem of uh, oh no it's not a problem anyway with the two deer ties to the south he does have uh, the ability to actually get that uh, temple of Artemis going this is gonna be extremely good for him and that extra food extra housing and the extra amenities are like gold over here for uh, Russia's capital especially the capital which needs to be a big city now we do have him also set on a culture tile that is a J tile giving him an amenity also to uh, well use or share with his allies moving towards the Lotaro it does seem like uh, we do have kind of a east versus west situation yeah we kind of have a east versus west situation no Sundiata Keita is actually behind enemy lines he's gonna be between two enemy sieves okay anyway Coming back to Lotaro here, we do have him already with a 2-3 um, volcanic soil tile that uh, got improved over here from Engulumapu. I do notice he's going to have easy settles to the west and to the east. I do want to put up again the, um, this um, lens for appeal. We do have quite a bit of appeal to the south, to the east, to the west, but not breathtaking on all tiles. Yes, Shemamulus can easily be placed on that 2-3 tile. That's going to be a poker. Shemamul, while to the right side I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to make a little bit better over here um, make his way for a few more better Shemamuls uh, getting the settle out in two turns has um, three directions to actually go and settle easiest way would probably be west uh, and it wouldn't be that bad but um, mm, mm. depends on when he actually where he actually settles it anyway 
I think it's fine actually. He can settle salt, uh, buy the rice style, work the rice style, and then the one three, and uh, like work the rice style, the turn, and then the one threes, and she should be fine. Should be fine. Anyway, now moving forward, let's actually take a look at the Egyptian Cleopatra. How much flood plains does he have over here? We do have him in the cattle with one, two, three, four tiles. Mm. Anyway, he does have uh, his settler coming around, and it looks like Zulu Scout is moving through. Does he see this? Does he see this? Yes, yes, he does. He's on a hill. He's above the um, forest over here. It looks like that scout mm -mm, got smelled out from across the river. Can you imagine the smell coming around here from the scout if that setter actually had vision on it? Wow. Anyway, uh, it does seem like also we're going to have a third setter coming up in six. And his dreams, MC Baton's dreams of actually settling towards the east side here might be thwarted by the scout of his opponent. Fatman is moving on the 2-2 two -two base uh, right on the river's edge and there is a scout coming up from the north yeah there we go mc beton is thinking i don't want to handle that heat and he's going uh to get closer to his scout with the fair need to see if uh, both of them are actually gonna get together on that 2-2 base uh, do they uh, know to do a remap vote? Is the, yes, yes. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. They know, they know. Uh, let's take a look quickly on the Mathias Corvinas. Uh, okay, Corvinas, it's fine, it's fine. He has a decent amount of land over here and good uh, second settles to the southeast, but no river. Uh, actually, it's not that fine. If this is no river bias uh, Hungary over here, what is going on? He's going to have at least the four tiles in his capital to uh, get the extra production towards those districts from the Pearl of the Danube. But I'm pretty sure he's going to settle that east and western city. Now, we do need to see on the far west side if he's going to get cities there. Doesn't seem like anybody is uh, next to these places. So I would assume, yes, that should be a yes. Uh, there we go. We got the... We got the vote going on over here. Uh, okay, so let's see. Philip II is here. Madrid, 2-1-1 uh, one die style. I do see 3-1 horses, 2-2s. Two and I do see that in the Gulf of Valencia, we're going to have some uh, fish tiles, 3-1-1s. One, uh, we do have him uh, getting his settler out in one. And let's see the continent split. And he does have a continent split. Now, it doesn't look like he's going to have an easy time actually getting a city there. That's going to be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to settle. That's a long way for that other continent. Continent. Anyway, I'm moving to Sundak. We did catch a glimpse of uh, his territory over here. He's also going to be between uh, two opponents and one ally, right? He's going to have Hungary to the northwest to uh, trade with, and they will uh, probably need to set up uh, coastal trade routes on the water towards the north. Uh, while uh, we do see Lotar over here to the west side, is uh, well, 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 he's going to have that opportunity. No, he's not. We do have a new map that needs to be generated because. Uh, the Reefs did not want to take this. Did not want to take this. Lancer, good evening, sir, and uh, welcome. Uh, Russia is protected. No need to remap. Yeah. Uh, also, Jose, good evening, sir, and welcome. They can see also the full map. Or are they playing? With, they are playing with Fog of War, sir. They, we are seeing what's going on. Uh, and I can actually click on buttons. This is the vision of uh, Cleopatra, for example. And it is shared within the team. Uh, while this is the vision of Ledo Reeves, which is, again, shared within the teams. Uh, they still can gather a lot of information from um, watching the information from underneath the Fog of War. And, of course, they do need to discover as much land. For example, this Zulu scout does not know about the settler being uh, behind the forest over here. Hello, Ure. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Uh, right on time, indeed. From exactly when it's starting. Yes. Life beneath water, to the great beasts of the stuff. Okay. Well, let's actually see what this map looks like. And we gotta ask chat, are we gonna go left or are we gonna go right? Chat, this is your time. This is your time to decide, left or right, where are we going? Oh, 
Lancer is saying left. We're gonna talk uh, Seondok this time about Seondok. Let's actually see where Seondok lives. Uh, well, I think we need to actually. Well, never mind. I can uh, I can keep on bouncing around to see the map. Ah, there we go. We find Seondok. And to be honest, these are a lot of hills for his Seons, uh, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna get to place a lot of them and get those uh, mines around them. It looks like he's also gonna have a more than decent amount of fresh water from the rivers. Whoa, this kind of yeah, this looks good. This kind of looks like a hunger spawn over here and we do have him with a hut to the west side some truffles or that's a cocoa that's a truffle tile over here in the rainforest while i do see some bananas in some of the tiles this is what is this ivory ivory a two to one gold okay i'm actually uh yeah okay we're just gonna need to wait um uh, i do want to take a look at his neighborhood does he have peace or is he gonna be at war it does seem like all around him there's gonna oh wait a second we got zulu across this um across this um bay the sondwana bay i do have to mention that not allies so korea is not gonna get easy economy over here by trading to zulu because they cannot and we do have um to see how studios is gonna get his city down it does seem like he's gonna have a good 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 adjacent tiles over here to make work of now we uh do need to take a look on the others uh philip the second let's actually see philip the second where is philip the second I think we got a glimpse of him earlier, but I, I forgot exactly. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got him in the Gulf of Roses with um, <clears throat> ooh, plus four campus over here next to on that peninsula on the stone tile. We do have him with a 231 spice um, to the south of Madrid. And I do notice he's going to get a scout out in three turns. Uh, to the north, he does have the giant causeway, actually. Uh, it doesn't seem like he's going to get to... Uh, attack anybody with it or maybe maybe later on in the game he's actually gonna get some bonuses over there to go against mali and we do have him also with a lot of fresh water i do see his continent split is gonna be this time around quite easy to acquire uh he can definitely get the uh, cattle over here a two to uh, base over here maybe even go a little bit uh, wider like get um, get this one next to the fertile and then get another city over here and another city over here one two three four five six seven Ooh, nine cities also on the lakes on onyanga to the south this is uh, this actually looks very cool this looks very cool but anyway um let's see let's see let's see next up what do we have hungary right matthias corvinas last time he barely had any bonuses let's see if this time around he has Ooh, he didn't move across he did not move across anyway now looks like he's gonna get a 2-2 base only has a single tile with the pull of the daniel bonus and that's probably gonna be for his government plaza unfortunately um, doesn't does seem like he's gonna get, need to get masonry to actually get um, the value out of that uh, stone tile we do have him with uh, quite a few more um, spaces for the um, cities on the rivers towards the south and towards the west side it looks like also there's a big river towards the north if he wants to get on that one uh, definitely spots with uh, multiple places for the pull of the danube and uh, the, we do need to see how he's gonna try to min max this to get the most squeeze the most out of this now uh, we um do have him also to the west side of uh, lotaro that's gonna be an opponent to the uh, to the north of russia again another opponent while he's gonna have to the west side over here philip the second to uh, rely upon we're gonna need to see if philip is actually gonna want to do something about russia this is uh hellish territory to actually go through especially right now with all of the blizzards going through this is not good not easy for uh, spain to actually get an army through there so yeah the russia again seems like it's protected by the elements we do have a uh, scout in two tents from Bura, and I do notice he's um, uh, starting to scout out towards the east side. He's going to have uh, eyes on Salara de Union soon, and will actually get some experience points for his scout. I'm actually quite curious if he's going to get this scout, uh, his promotion or not. No, probably not. He does have code of laws in like five tens, so he doesn't have the extra, prom extra experience from uh, discovering stuff. Uh, Cleopatra. Let's see Cleopatra. Where is Cleopatra? Here. This time around. Oh, this is worse than the last time. This is actually worse than the last time. Anyway, and I'm talking about floodplains. I don't think the spawn is bad. It's just floodplains is like very small. 
number. Uh, we do have him with uh, cattle settled towards the west, another one of these stones settles towards the west side, um, and I do see he can actually grab a tile from Z uh, Zangi Danxia. This is gonna be um, a wonder that gives him plus two merchant points and plus two general points just by default, so definitely he's gonna be ahead when it comes to uh, making points for those merchants, not to mention the generals. Uh, getting two scouts out to start exploring the territory, we do uh, have him with uh, also wonder very far up north, I'm I Jokul. Uh, we're gonna need to see if uh, this one that is actually gonna give him anything, even though it is already starting to explode. That is quite far away for him to benefit from it. Uh, looking on uh, Lotaro, let's actually see Lotaro to the south of Egypt. Looks like uh, he is gonna have this time around uh, a much better appeal. No, oh no, he is not gonna have that much better of an appeal. It looks like uh, this territory is uh, not gonna give him the Shemamul places he was thinking of, unless he's actually gonna go for city parks, which I don't think is gonna be an option in this game. Uh, we did have some people actually trying out city parks in, um, in the FFAs that we have, and also the Iron Man's that we had. Uh, gee, they just didn't manage to get there right it was a bit too slow compared to like moksha openers or magnus openers and the other ones now we do have um the setter coming up in fortens here from engulu mapu he already has his two scouts uh, discovering the east and the south and i do see it is gonna be a decent amount of fresh water around him yes a bit more to actually move towards the south but in terms of turns it should be fine this is flat land so he should get there quickly one two three four five and a six to settle that's not bad this settle though on the two on the one two towards the west side with the fresh water is gonna be pogards though that's that's probably gonna be his second settle he does have another one possible one ah this doesn't look good only a single two two here uh yes yes i mean you know maybe uh flat planes uh no 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 flat planes what am i talking about i'm pretty sure it's gonna be uh one city towards the north next to banana one city towards the two two over there and maybe the city in the south later on in the game <laughs> Anyway, now we do need to take a look at Russia also, the southwest of Lotaro. Lotaro is again the bodyguard of Russia. It looks like a 57 fan is starting to explore the west and the east. This time around, he doesn't have that much fresh water all around him. With a river towards the south, unfortunately, it is in the snow. I'm actually confused how this river did not ice over. Uh, we do have him with uh, quite a few silver tiles here. One, two, three in the capital i do see uh, more in the outer rings over here but uh, further than they could actually be worked by the city center now uh, he does have a deer tile he could actually uh, go for a temple of artemis if he wanted to and i would imagine this might be a good spot for it um on the east side getting that other deer improved why am i saying oh yeah why am i saying this because otherwise he's gonna need to chop that one three because definitely the horse tile mm -mm, he's not gonna get it there now we do have uh, also Shaka to take a look at. He is, where is uh, Shaka and why? Oh, yeah, there we go. On uh, Ulundi, now he does have the fresh water from a lake and I do see he's uh, gonna get his settler probably to the south. That uh, seems like a good spot next to those bananas. And also access to a citrus tile, multiple other two tools there. It shouldn't be a problem to get the food and the housing going. Uh, we do have him also with settles towards the northwest and northeast that are gonna give him the fresh water, not to mention the far west side over here, another river. Uh, he he shouldn't have any problems with uh, Egypt being so far away from his opponent. He should be able to settle as many cities as he wants, uh, benefiting from, of course, the fresh water. Well, Zulu does have uh, the Ikanda, though, so, you know, it, it is what it is. Let's see Ksundiata. Does he have more desert this time? Yes, and he does have his settler moving towards the second spot. Niani did manage to get religious settlements as a pantheon, and he's going to grab more tiles whenever he's going to settle one, uh, this settler or settle any city. Uh, not to mention he's getting more production towards uh, settlers from that. He did get a die style to work, a 131, and of course coupled with the food, extra food that he's getting from those desert tiles, it should be quite fine. That's three extra food that he's getting in Yanni, making him already going for a third pop after he already put out a uh, uh, thing thing, a settler. Uh, so sad. Sermaya, uh, team 2 remap. Looks like uh, this is gonna go. Uh, Pebbleton, hello there, Serender. Welcome. Top to bottom. It is what it is. Uh, Egypt versus uh, Zulu via the lakes might get interesting. It would, yeah, it might be. Let's actually see if uh, they want to do that. Sometimes I wonder how silly uh, BBM algorithm influences some maps. Like, why does a river flow from a sea to the same sea? I don't, um, BBG does not affect the, that. 
actually. The BBG does not affect uh, the reverse. It will affect uh, tiles, like workable tiles, or it will change the aspect of a tile you know, from a plains maybe into a grassland, but or uh, even like maybe desert, you know, from desert into something else, uh, from tundra into something else. But I don't think it affects river placement or um, uh, how to say, um, uh, lake placement what uh, it might do is maybe add a few oasis over here or some one tile lakes maybe maybe no, i don't think so uh that's it for team two no remap yeah no remap well uh, they did uh, what they uh, needed to do let's see team one team two uh, wait, we did have one remap, right? Choose an outcome, one remap. That was the outcome of this. And I do want to put up the team labels on the screen because otherwise I am going to get confused, let alone you. Let's actually see. Leather Reeves and uh, Comfy. Uh, okay, Comfy. I will put Comfy on the left side because, uh, uh, yeah, it's too long of a name otherwise. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, wait. And on the right side, we do have the reeves which basically means uh, two uh, means two sides or something like that uh if i remember correctly what it means two sides of a river basically the two shores of a river is that mali yes it is mali up north that is indeed mali with the first pantheon in the game and uh, let me actually talk a little bit about him here because he's um gonna get his etc his third etc going soon and i do see his spot towards the north he's gonna give him that uh, much needed fresh water and not to mention his uh, ability to get more food from this desert uh, we do have him uh, with already three population and he does have um, uh, geothermal fishery in between these uh, two cities that means this is a continent split in between these two lakes and it does seem like he's gonna get the um, amenities from both <clears throat> we do have him also benefiting from uh, an iron tile towards the northeast of niani and horses horses in the third ring on the southeast of that uh, capital here well let's actually take a look how uh, things are gonna go on uh, the others we do have uh, zulu over here ulundi gonna get us set out in two turns and yes i do notice um we do have him uh, already with three pop and the city to the, the south has been placed actually quite close to Korea. Uh, remember, they are opponents and uh, of course, if they do get a whiff of each other, they will start bonking each other. Uh, we do have uh, Nordwengu starting off with a monument. He did buy off the banana tile towards the north to get that city more food and he will have access to a truffle tile. He could place another city there on the cattle if he wanted to, to get uh, closer to Korea. I do also notice he's gonna have iron and horses in the second ring of the city center. We're probably gonna need to see when he's gonna improve the fish. And I do have to turn this down a little bit because it felt like it is a bit too loud. Now I do see. Well, uh, we need to move forward. It'll stab four and two with it in production. Can't really talk about that much. Uh, we don't have yet a Pantheon either. So, yeah, we're going to come back and see what he's going to do here. Uh, Peter should have a Pantheon, right? Yeah, he should. And he's getting Earth Goddess. We do have him with uh, Lavra finishing up in one turn. He already did manage to get the horse style improved towards the north, making it a 2 3 1. And it does seem like he is going to want to try to get the deer tile improved. So, he should actually chop the 1 3 1. Won't get that uh, nice juicy bonus of our uh, craftsmanship now he did put the lava on the right side on that iron tile and then he's gonna get iron immediately after he gets bronze working after he basically discovers the technology needed to reveal iron uh, the second city has been placed on the coast oh my god man oh my god and we were talking about a bad spawn how is this a bad spawn man how is this a bad spawn look at this forest fire Kick W, man. Kick W, man. Uh, Earth Goddess, sir. Earth Goddess. He got Earth Goddess. Uh, Pebbleton also, the name comes from the team members coming from France and Quebec, if I remember correctly, or at least the original team. Yes, uh, Le Confitur d'Irel. Um, did a smoosh with um, Les Onitorix Roses, I think the second team of Les Onitorix Roses, from what I've seen the names, and uh, there we go, we got Stulios, we got Jeru, we got Tom Brett, and the MMC Beton playing today for them, while on the other side, the Reeves are gonna have Findus, 57 Fan, Fatman, and Kea Bambi, wow. This is going to be amazing territory, by the way, for Russia. This is going to be insane. Look at all of the two foods available for him in Tundra, where he's getting more production. Can you imagine what kind of city he's going to have here? Oh my God, man. I can't even watch this. This is disgusting. This is some plus 18 stuff right here. Oof.
Anyway, uh, let's actually take a look on Lotaro because this is going to make me crazy. Yeah, there we go. We got him to the north. In Apiramapu did settle next to those bananas. Did open up with the uh, campuses from what I do see. That's a plus three in between the mountains and um, um, rainforest. And I do notice his third city is ready to go. He, uh, I, I'm pretty sure he's settling here. Like, uh, just saying, there is no other option, right? Oh, maybe this one would be an option. One, two, three, four, five, and a six to settle. But no fresh water. Meh. Uh, quite a bit of gold together. Meh. Why would you not settle here where you have immediately uh, quite a few two twos? Also, a nice setup for your government plaza slash campus slash commercial slash whatever you want in between your cities, right? He does need to pick up a pantheon at the moment. He is making one faith. It looks like he did actually put on the God King card, which I gotta say, a lot of players right now are kind of staying away from it. It does seem like we're coming out of the meta of uh, picking first God King card so you get the fastest pantheon in the game. If you don't actually have a good pantheon, a lot of the times it's better to go for that production. Uh, we do have him also getting the volume at the end of the the north. And yes, more settlers actually in his capital. He doesn't want to wait. He's getting a fourth city immediately after he actually got the third city well looking next uh, on his strategics he does have a horse star in the second ring the iron is quite far away in the third one that's going to be expensive and while he does have more in the south but again he's going to need to settle cities there if he actually wants to benefit from them a decent amount of land west side he's gonna have uh, over here hungary and that's gonna be an opponent north side he does have egypt and that's gonna be another opponent uh so i'm pretty sure he's gonna try to make units for both of them i mean he needs to share right she needs to share uh, snow fires yes i mean yes you don't know fire can actually happen in the snow oh my god it's happening it's happening two three tiles everywhere guys and that will turn into two four tiles so okay it's not enough that russia is gonna get all of these good things going from earth goddess from the lavra from the religious bonuses from the extra production on the hills and stuff like that in the tundra he's gonna get more food and more production also in this city i mean come on man why are you going east come on come on man what is this no my god he's actually going northeast mm -mm -mm. anyway i i do understand that he wants to get it as quickly as possible does he even see the east yeah he knows he knows he has no fresh water towards the south and he knows his fresh water is towards the northeast. That's going to be also towards um, Hungary here. And I got to say, they might they might actually do some uh, bonking around the, the cities of Hungary soon. Anyway, uh, let's actually take a quick pick. Uh, did we finish everybody? We talked about Russia, right? We, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Cleopatra. We talked about Mapuche, so Cleopatra. That's on the way. Fertility rights has been chosen as a pantheon for MC Beton. I do see he's going to get a scout out in Wanden from Iwuru, not his capital city uh, with uh, more culture coming out from his monument and also the extra culture from his jade tile <laughs> we do have him also benefiting from a decent amount of um how to say food from the these tiles in the southeast of racketed yeah uh, well i do see abydos on the west side did get settled on the that cattle tile and i'm pretty sure he's gonna get another city on the stone it's just a matter of time doesn't really make it it didn't really make it worth to actually get the uh, lady of the reeds and marshes and sasu bonsoir monsieur bienvenue also abu bonsoir monsieur bienvenue um egypt has seen the wonder egypt has seen the wonder no he did not scout it out he does not know he does not know what beautiful wonder he has over here, Zangidangsia, which he can actually settle right next to and try to get the pyramids uh, from it also. Now look at that uh, one random uh, tile of desert over here. Anyway, yeah, mm, 360 no scope. Uh, Pingala opener for him. We do uh, need to see also his next settles uh, location with um, five turns and six turns to get the next ones. I'm pretty sure we're going to come back to see how this is going. I do have to mention he is uh, at the top of the screen here with the culture. He's nine culture a turn while everybody else is like three seven maybe five maybe two what's happening here on lotare why does he not get the culture he just went for the extra settlers right oh and he didn't finish this monument here oh my god this is actually quite slow quite slow quite slow from him anyway now moving forward let's see hungary hungary 
Buddha pegs uh, Debrecen. He is getting his uh, horse tile in between the Buddha and pegs. That's going to be fine. His iron tile is going to be secondary towards the northeast. He does have a possible, um, uh, how to say, a Temple of Artemis if he wants to. Can improve that fertile with a camp. And I do notice he's going to have quite a few cities to settle. One city to take out. Bandar Brunei probably will need to be taken out by uh, the military of Hungary. Uh, and of course, I do see next to his opponents, he doesn't actually have anybody to, uh, uh, like, any city to go against wow is 57 fan getting body blocked over here it looks like the cats of hungary are making quite a bit of a splash anyway he's gonna settle next to the horse tile next to another 2-2 two -two. he should be fine to close up this choke towards the north and i gotta say this is kind of weird how this uh, river comes out of the mountain like that a oh, mountain what mountain that's a hill right yeah it, anyway uh, commercial hubs are already starting to uh, come out from the players. We do see the campuses over here on uh, Lotaro. And of course, the Lavras have been finished on Russia. He's getting his shrines out for that extra faith with Moksha establishing in his capital soon. Uh, moving forward towards um, Philip II, we do have him with three cities already going for his uh, campuses. The two other cities have been placed on another continent. Uh, the blue one, on, uh, the purple one on the left side. Another one, um, the one underneath is red from what I do see. I do notice he kind of messed up this uh, southern settle. He's probably going to settle all directly on Lake Sonnyanga. And I do notice also he's going to start up with Moksha in Valladolid, not his capital at the moment. And with the campus opener on three cities we do have him uh, getting a plus three over here a plus three over here and a plus two in seville and while he did improve his horse style uh, horse styles actually as the first resources he got he didn't get a pantheon yet war declaration has been sent and i do want to see who is warring whom i do see hungary is actually warning russia over here wants to stop that scout from discovering some more tiles and hungary is well did manage to get two attacks in that actually increased the experience of the scout to another level that means he's gonna get a promotion over here and might actually get away from it now uh, the hungarian empire is gonna sue also bandar brunei might actually go for amani externals as the first um first thing he does let's take a look also on uh, spain's uh, strategics we did talk about the horses which he already has improved three of them these are a lot of horses and uh, i do notice his iron tile Wait, I do I notice his iron tile? I don't notice his iron tile. I think the iron tile is actually underneath the campus. That's the only only uh, tile that is not over here, right? It should be underneath the campus. Um, hey, bro, you excited for uh, Civ 7? Nuclear you, you, Ancorn, good evening, sir. I need a lot more information to be excited about Civ 7. Uh, a lot more. Right now, as it stands, I can't really say I'm excited. No, I, I, I don't want to lie. I honestly don't want to lie. I, I can't seem to be excited. Uh, we'll go. I need to see if uh, with more information, with more, um, uh, how to say, reveals of the resources and everything. What uh, resources of the mechanics of the um, uh, gameplay and so on and so forth. We're going to get enchanted over here. Are you excited? Are you excited? A blazing at games. Hello, there's and welcome. Uh, let me actually put up a poll. Let's let's see. Let's put up a poll. Uh, are you excited for Civ 7? Yay or nay? It's a very simple poll, you know, like I, I like to do. It's very simple answers, you know, very simple question, very simple answers. Uh, only 20 turns, not too bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we barely got through the remap choices and so on. And now we were taking a look at the strategic resources. We were actually just moving towards the sound dock over here uh, to see his strategics. And uh, also, we're going to come around to take a look at all of the pantheons. Uh, looks well, but can't say I'm not excited. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, there we go. We got eight yays over here and only two nays. There we go. There we go. We got quite a few people excited for Civ 7. I trust the devs, uh, even though half of the choices seem very questionable. I mean... <laughs> I don't know if I should say this or not, but I mean, I usually like to, uh, I'm kind of a straight shooter. I kind of want to say my things, uh, how to say my opinions, um, even if, um, how to say, even if uh, they don't actually cater to somebody's feelings and so on and so forth. And most of the time I do keep my opinions to myself just because of that. Um, uh, a bit of an issue that I had is not like we haven't seen blunders happen with bigger devs or same kind of same level devs 
and that's my main fear over here that's my main fear so we don't have like these big blunders that are totally predictable like you know if you go that way it's gonna be bad totally predictable way and uh, could have been actually avoided that's why that's what i'm uh, worried about now we see this happening like you, you see it in slow motion <laughs> you know it, it, uh, it's not good when you get there and when you get there you just smash your wall <laughs> how do we max the morphing sieve when era changes uh, in sasu yeah and no pre-order kick w that's how you're gonna mean max it no pre-order man <laughs> uh, i wasn't excited by phyrexis tuesday show but leech did a nice video wednesday and now i started to be excited well that's uh, the power of leech right that's the power of the content creator not actually the power of the trailer that you are uh, shown it is what it is and about the pricing i don't know most games or i should say triple a games are around that pricing so can't really say much about the pricing right it's um whoever's gonna buy it it's gonna buy it and i do have to say we went to 12 yays excited for civ 7 and only three nays over here uh let's uh let's actually see how things are going we got the seons coming in here for korea he did get divine spark as a pantheon and i do see uh slingers coming in from guangzhou we do have also moshe uh, three turning uh going into guangzhou over there to give him that extra culture and we definitely need to see what is he gonna do here that uh, seon is only one science and i do see the Beasley. thank you so much for the tier one sub much appreciate it sir uh, for the tier one gift um yeah yeah we'll see we'll see uh what i can say um cpl or i should say the civ 6 mp community is going very strong very strong I, I i can actually share with you a few things over here uh let's not uh take a look at the things let's actually just give me a second i can share so you can see my vision so you can see uh how we're doing in the cpl or i should say multiple communities this is cpl right now right now right now so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven games twelve games twelve games right now being played at the same time with um people are starting together actually uh in this uh no 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 the, at the moment uh, no game is actually starting together but i'm pretty sure soon we will have somebody in the staging rooms over here i don't also want to point you out to cvfr squadrons look at these boys man they're going strong over here oh my god look look how many channels i'm not even gonna count them but these are all ffas and teamers being played out over here a lot of them a lot of them and uh you can immediately see how much interest is for uh mp gaming uh, in multiple communities and i like like just look at this how many games are being played and this is i gotta point out this is uh, not the civ 6 uh, multiplayer lobbies like they're, they're not in the game they're actually private games that are being played without that uh, visibility of the multiplayer normal multiplayer lobbies um Bolanis, thank you so much sir much appreciated for the prime thank you united primer i see uh so basically the size of uh company's budget and the uh, quality but yeah okay okay uh, another thing uh su this is the community the russian community uh, right now they're playing they're also playing like three games they also have like three games we can take a look at each community i'm pretty sure everywhere we do see mp being played out in civ 6 and uh like i was saying at the beginning of the stream this is going to be quite uh, the stream and this is going to be quite a challenge for the devs to overcome civ 7 title and this is where my main worry comes from um, civ 6 has already has already uh, gone up quite a bit in quality right and the community helped out the modders helped out the players helped out uh, uh, everybody the content creators helped out everybody did help out on uh, civ 6. let's see if civ 7 can beat it i usually don't play those uh, kind of games no console yeah yeah and i don't have a console either and i'm probably never going to get one I, I don't see the reason to have a console ever uh, has civ community manager played the game yet don't think so uh i i i mean personally i haven't seen her react to anything in uh, in the channels or something uh, they are talking though and i do have to mention this um i mean there's nothing uh, to uh, obviously not mention on our save i don't know why honestly i don't know why but they're making announcements over here instead of giving us some announcements uh, to make on um, cpl we're making them i mean we're definitely mirroring if uh, there's uh, anything over here but they never actually contacted us for this kind of um, approach. I don't know why they didn't want to do it. 
Oh, oh well. Uh, so we do have uh, over here some uh, greetings. Give me a second so I can uh, show you on our save. There we go. There we go. This is basically talking to kind of a dead server. You see, in all of the other communities are actually talking. Uh, are they actually playing? Nobody's playing in our save, man. Like really, nobody's playing. Really, nobody, nobody, like not even one game, not even one player has joined these uh, these uh, channels, the voice channels. I, I don't know, and this is where they want to communicate. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, he can live longer because his whole thing is immortality. He raised his name from the uh, legend in the land. Uh, oh, you're talking about uh, uh, monkey, right? Monkey, monkey. Uh, Blades Get Games, thank you so much for the Prime. Six months, more save. Okay, monkeys. Yes. Let's see how uh, text to speech is gonna say it. Come on. Say it. Say it. Is he saying it? Is he not saying it? Be knighted, Primer. Blazer Cat Games. More save, Poggy Wockies. <laughs> Poggy Wocka. <laughs> Amazing, that's just gold, man. That's just gold. Uh, anyway, uh, the ninja samurai monkey. Yes, yes, I did uh, actually take a look at uh, Asbon Gold's um, gameplay with that, by the way, and his comments about the game and so on and so forth. But so much, Rafifi, bienvenue. Okay, I do want to put two things up. I do want to put up the uh, the prediction for uh, who will win on the light side. Uh, le confi, confi, to rings. And on the right side, we do have uh, Le the Reeves, which is basically the two banks. Two banks? I think banks is actually the correct word. Yeah, uh, banks of a river. Um, I know which is exactly. I said it. Oh, I see. I see. You did it. You did it, sir. Also, Nick, hello there, sir, and welcome. I see the sin. I see the sin. Wearing a hat indoor is a sin. Is it a sin? Wait, wait, wait. Is it a sin? Guys, 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 guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't make me uh, do the hats off thing over here. I can definitely take off my hat. Why do you call me a sinner? Man, I, I'm actually quite religious. I don't like to lie, and I do like to actually... Um, no, I do like. I do... Uh, how do you call it? Uh, I do obey the Ten Commandments. That's it. So if you think this is lying to you, I could just take this off. It's not a problem for me. I this is this was a suggestion from my father at some point, like two years ago or three years ago, and then he said, "Oh man, this is, might be a differentiator on the street." Uh, San Ukon is like one of the most OP characters in uh, mythology. Oh, okay, okay, hey, let's come back to the game here and see how things are going. Cause we're 1029, we got the remap and we got the prediction going, and we gotta see how the players are trying to use their bonuses against each other here. And we do have uh, Mapuche actually trying to keep away one of the seven from a building in korea's territory in the city of yangsan i do notice uh, korea has also improved that horse style and the ivory tile he's uh, finishing up his governor plaza next to his um uh, Seon, while he did open up with Moksha first, he's going Magnus second in the city of Seoul. Uh, getting another wave of uh, settlers, or I should say another settler, and I do notice he's getting four or settled over here by Zulu. I do believe Zulu is going to be quite aggressive against Korea. Uh, he does need to hit the timing before the Hawachas, which I gotta say his, um, his unit's uh, ability to get to um, uh, courts should be open first before the Hawacha timing on Korea. We definitely need to see how uh, things are going to evolve. Studios is on 13 sites with 9 culture and he does have um, 7 gold at 10 with 28 production at the moment. He's actually the almost the lowest production one in the game over here. Uh, wow, how did people, uh, Peter actually only get 23 production? Never mind, we're going to get to him and we're going to find the answer. On uh, Jeru, we do have Philip with three cities. He did finish his um, three campuses. He's already on 19 science and 16 culture with uh, Magnus being plugged in Madrid. He did actually use Moksha in the second city. Uh, he probably does want to get uh, Magnus in tunnels, but he wanted the culture faster. And we do have him starting to improve his um, uh, strategics and also did manage to get God of Cranspont as a pantheon. I do also notice that there is a Russian scout uh, smelling around his territory over here. And it doesn't seem like he's going to get anything, but you know, what do I know? He might actually just move on the one one and then boom, we actually get the builder. Oh, catch him with the pants down. Uh, just a joke, you are great. Much pleasure, sir. Uh, Victor, when they remap, it's a whole new map. Yes, yes, Victor. Good evening, sir, and welcome on uh, YouTube over there. Yes, when they remap, it's a full new map. Uh, Spain has crazy strategics. Yes. 
Uh, does Civ 7 have golden ages? Did anyone see that uh, they have? So, okay, they don't have really golden ages from what I understand. They, what they do have is they split the game into three major parts. And uh, between each part, you're going to get to do major changes to your empire according to something. And that's the information we're missing. We don't know what triggers the era change. We don't know what carries over from one era to the other we don't know exactly what kind of bonuses will be available what kind of other leaders or mix and mashes and this is where the assumptions start to happen we know it will be split in three we know there are errors more than that we don't know i mean i don't know is anybody here that does know does know more about this i don't think so you'll just miss the ability to become mongolia as egypt yeah uh, and a lot of information is actually carried over in my impression from uh, humankind experience uh, how, for how uh, that mechanic actually started to be yeah to take shape in that game now i'm not that convinced it's going to be the same or being played like the same in uh Civ 7 We'll see. We shall see. It's patience. 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 We learn patience with Civ 6 Relobbies. Come on, man. We can wait for Civ 7 a little while longer. Now, let's actually see. We got uh, Sister Hall also in Fortens for Spain. That's his um, specializing building of choice in the Gavron Plaza, which he did actually get uh, next to the um, campus and uh, will be able. Well, he could have actually put another campus here, but he didn't. Anyway. We'll see what he's going to do with this style. Um, and we do see also after the um, uh, campuses, he's going to switch towards commercials. He definitely needs to get those uh, markets in. But right now, he does have a lot of production. And he did nail some of the district discounts. Uh, looking on Matthias Corbinus, uh, three series strong, getting his markets in. I do see him uh, starting to improve his uh, amenities, the die style, the plantations. And I do notice he did actually put a um, commercial hub two tiles out from Debrecen because he didn't have irrigation to actually put it on the rice style. I gotta say, all of these little things are actually eating into his bonuses and eating into his tempo. And a lot of the times, I do also want to mention, Hungary is well known for putting districts even if they cover up resources because... They they want that uh, this, uh, the bonus of the Pearl of the Danube more than they want those resources. This is what those features. For example, this uh, forest over here shouldn't have had uh, an ability to... Um, he should have settled on the forest. He should have settled on the forest. He would have had like three tiles. Uh, one of them would have been um, a campus, one of them a commercial and whatever he wanted next. Hopefully Xmas um, 2025, Civ 7 is 50% off. Let's actually see. 2025, whoa, that's a year and a something going, almost a half. Ave Mokeveli, good evening, sir, and welcome. Civ 7 lobby sim is going to be even worse. Oh, we got Tombrot actually uh, getting out of the game here. Just as you are saying that, man. You're a preacher, bro. You're a visionary. We can always go uh, to Space War approach to Civ 7 before deciding to buy it. I will see. We'll see. I mean, I don't think there are many games that I actually buy first um, before checking out somebody else playing it. But maybe that's just me, to be honest. So I'm pretty sure in this case, I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy Civ 7. I um, don't think I'm going to pre-buy uh, pre it, but I'm maybe uh, coming closer over there, I'm going to buy it. Uh, so we get to play it, right? We get to interact with it. We get to see all of the mechanics. I just hope it's not going to be a disappointment. I hope it's amazing and I want to spend exactly like exactly it's not the money problem it's not the price problem I just we just hope it rises to our expectations uh why I can do culture victory uh while oh yeah 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 yeah. if you just want to spend some yeah you can wire it to me <laughs> I mean what can really just uh, throwing out over there yeah I mean you know like yeah you can send them here <laughs> I'm gonna take care of it <laughs> oh my oh my uh, anyway, uh, let's actually take a look. Tom Pret is uh, recovering and coming back to the lobby. We're going to need to see how he's uh, going to get things going here. And in the meantime, I do see a God of the Forge has been picked up by Mapuche as a pantheon. We do have him getting his government plaza here. And uh, I do see more, uh, an encampment is also coming out from Inapiramapu. He did settle this city to the southeast. That's the fourth one that he was going for. But you do see how uh, late he was on the other districts, like on his government plaza. Uh, with a few builders, he's going to start improving his territory. We do have uh, quite a few things. Give me a second. Sorry, I need to close the door. 
Uh, okay, uh, it should be 69. Only for uh, did you know pricing? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. I uh, no idea about uh, how pricing should work and how original pricing test is uh, way beyond my pay grade as they like to say it i have never done a study about this and never seen a study about this now i just know uh, yes on steam there are quite a few regional prices being applied yeah uh, you can get found away for a 20 for a period yeah yeah you can you can and i understand you get some benefits over there i do have to say i'm kind of like neutral on the um, cosmetic stuff i kind of like it and don't like it at the same time i can understand why people might disagree with it but i can understand why it could be a very cool thing in the game also uh, look at dota for example if it doesn't um, give you un how to say um, unstoppable bonuses in the game why not i mean you know who doesn't want a bear scout you don't want a bear scout let me ask you oh my god uh, this is a big question do you want bear scout do you want bear i'm gonna put it b-e-a-r scout with big letters over here yay or nay there we go there we go start the poll do you want a bear scout or not i'd rather give 20 subs for 120 <laughs> I went away for a bit and Molly's already on six cities. Yes, sir. Lancer, he's multiplying. Multiplying like the plague over here. Look at this. Gambi is going for his pyramids. He's getting audience chamber. He's getting also his uh, things improved. And since we are 1032, we're going to get to talk about his golden age. He went for a pen brush and voice. We don't see him opening up with uh, any holy sites. And of course, Sugubas are getting built everywhere. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's going to follow this up with uh, also campuses and theater squares from some of his cities. And uh, I do have to say, this is a pretty cool place over here to put two of those theater squares. Uh, we do have uh, his audience chamber finishing up in three turns. And well, he did get to settle towards Zulu. While Zulu is building up his infrastructure towards uh, Korea, we do have um, Zulu getting Liang first in the capital city. This is the extremely surprising actually uh he's going liang first over here and he went for the food liang not for the other liang he's uh whoa uh, right tree over here liang he's went ag agriculture he might actually go for zoning commission and housing boom wait a second this is a way i haven't seen a, this way in a long time so we do have him with quite a few resources one two three four five six seven eight nine if you take this one into account okay i mean that's nine extra food and nine extra production in that city center from those resources and you do get them quite quickly so you know can't really disagree i i don't really think it's going to be fast on the um on the stats though uh, right now he's nine science and 18 culture definitely struggling with the stats yeah, uh, we do have uh, also to take a look at um, his his golden age. He's in a pen brush and voice golden age on Shaka. On Peter, monumentality golden age. We got him on three cities. We do have um, also shrines coming up here in Smolens. And I do notice uh, traders are coming in to actually connect his cities. He's getting pillaged, but he does have a settler moving towards that awesome sauce spot. He's going to get all of this forest. Oh my God. And Hungary, did, he, did Hungary actually get to see this? Or, uh, I mean, he saw something of this. He saw something, but not everything. A bear scout, bear scout. There we go. Five yays and two nays. There we go. Bear scout, man. We gotta get the bear scout in. Um, getting them to get an advantage over the Phyrex is AI. Yeah, I don't, I don't think uh, there, sh there will be any kind of advantage over the AI. I don't think they will, they will cross that line. But maybe that's just me. That's, that's my hopes. Yeah, yeah. What the burnt forest, man? Look at this forest. It's beautiful. Uh, this is another thing that we actually love about the game. Like you always, always, always have so many things uh, coming up from the land, popping out um, that are going to be different from map to map. Amazing. Well, looking at uh, Russia, he did go for um, his monumentality, his 8 science with 16 culture and North also 31 faith at 10. We do have him on 36 production, while I do notice he's uh, getting his government plots are ready. His uh, trader did not move from the capital for quite some time. Uh, we did have him also settling that northern city, and he does have the opportunity to actually get some units towards uh, Hungary. The question is, will he? 
And since Hungary is actually setting himself up for um, a fast expansion with Ancestor Hall finishing up in three turns, we might actually see him uh, having quite a bit of a low uh, army size um, for quite some time. For at least like 10 turns, it should be Hungary with very low army size. He does have a scout here strategically placed between the mountains to hold any kind of units from Russia coming in on the um, shores. But I'm, of course, Russia can just go around it. Uh, well, what else do you call all this? Is if they saw, uh, considering how P they were, I don't think uh, they were. I mean, I don't think that's uh, extra content. I don't. I don't think that's actually giving you an advantage. That's just other content. Um, I think uh, it would be OP. It would be quite unquestionable if you would have abilities unlocked on sieves that everybody owns with money. That that I think is uh, it's a line that you shouldn't cross. Russian preserve suddenly is a valid idea, especially with this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, he did also get a religion, by the way, on Russia. Glagla. Um, we do have him with Feed the World and Pilgrimage. He's going to get the faith, and I do see he's going to get the food from his shrines and temples while he started improving his uh, silver tiles here. He's just going to give them to everybody in his team. Well, moving forward on uh, Lotaro, we do have him 21 science and 24 culture. <laughs> I do see he is going to finish his first encampment in the city of Inapiramapu to the north and started improving his plantations. He's going for Wallace Throne in the capital, say, Gavron Plaza. And I would imagine it will be Hungary that's going to be on the receiving end of that stick. Now, there could be actually also uh, Egypt towards the north. We definitely need to wait and see which one of the targets he will choose. He went for God of the Forge, so he definitely is out for blood here. Now we uh, also see Pingala establishing in Piramapu in three turns, while he did open up with Moksha in the capital. Still has a few cities to uh, place towards the south, and of course towards the north, towards both um, his opponents over here. West side and north, actually, I should mention. Well, moving forward, Cleopatra does have uh, 15 signs with 20 culture on uh, Golden Ben Brasham voice is uh, barely finishes Gavron Plaza right now. Man, I was talking about um, Lotaro being late on Gavron Plaza. He's actually ahead of Egypt. Egypt did go four cities of his own. He did start off getting his markets out and uh, barely getting uh, right now uh, some of them finished. In, even in his capital, he didn't actually get to finish that one. Uh, starting off with the internal trade routes. Did he even meet Zangedangsia? Okay, guys, this is the moment of truth. You know the moment. Did he meet Zangi Dangsia? Yeas or nays in the jack? Uh, Glagla is a childish word for gold. Oh, I see. That's funny. Yeas or nays in the chat. Also, hello there, papas. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Uh, Saibong, hello there, sir, and welcome. I was thinking of something else. Okay. Um, you think? Rafifi, you think? Come on. You th uh, Saipong is saying nay, by the way. So he didn't actually see Zangedangsia. He's not buying this tile. And I would have to say, point out, he does have 54 gold. So it should be at least one tile, right? Okay, let's actually see. Is this the scouting scene? Is this the scouting scene? Or I should say no scouting scene? Not properly scouting your surroundings? Chat, you gotta help me out here. Do we have three A's in the chat for a scene activated or no? No, I mean, I, I, okay, we got one. We got one. <laughs> Give me a second. Bam. There we go. Needed to change uh, a little bit the angle. There we go. Should be fine. Uh, otherwise, if he had seen it and would not buy tiles, that would be a big sin. Pink, hello, the center, welcome. So we got two. We got two confirmations. Do we have a third one or no? I can't believe I've, uh, Machiavelli is actually not talking about this. Incredible. He He's probably watching something else over here. Definitely watching something else. Man, man, come on. You got to tell us, Machiavelli. Is this a sin or not? You did not see the Zangedangsia to the north. Never scouted it. Even settled next to <laughs> I mean, that tile can be acquired by the city of Neken. Okay, okay. So if you guys don't say, huh? Uh, my f uh, fire first bro, and I saw an, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. So Neken got settled. And look at this. Machiavelli, what do you think of this? Never scouted that beautiful wonder over here. And the question is, is this a sin or not? Not scouting your surrounding territory. 
do we do we put it in or do we not put it in because you're you're basically the decider right we already had uh, two confirmations we need a third one to actually put this in clearly okay we got the third one okay there we go there we go okay so let, let's put this up definitely scout your territory guys scout your territory this is uh, not cool not cool anyway now moving towards uh, Hungary, we do have him on 15 science and 29 culture, still on three cities. He did get that ancestral hall, and I do see him uh, getting a fourth city from Pax. Uh, we uh, do have him with uh, good tiles towards the north of Buda, and I do notice towards the south of Pax there could be another be city being settled there. It is going to be a coastal, and I'm pretty sure Russia could get some boats out. He does have three coastal cities, so you can imagine that's not going to be tough for him. Um, also, Machiavelli is saying, I don't want, I won't call it a sin, it's a teamers game. He knows where his enemies are, and that's the player top priority in a teamers game. Yeah, but also knowing your surroundings kind of feels like he should be one. Hey, he did actually get the city of, imagine he could have had two cities on Wonders, man. He did actually get the city of Sesso on i Jokul, getting that uh, nice extra culture and nice uh, extra food going. Anyway. Uh, let's see, it's Philip II, Pembrush and Voice, 36 Science, 29 Culture, he does have 53 production over here, one of the top rollers, uh, yeah, from his team actually, his first in production, Philip II only has three cities, and I do see him getting ancestral hall and another two, three, three cities that are coming around, one towards the south, towards the late, in lake, uh, lakes of Onyanga, one towards the north where that builder is, and uh, I do also notice another one coming out from Valladolid, which is probably going to be west side, he's getting a horse from Seville to increase his uh, strength no he already has his strength in Pusco he did get a horse out what is this horse from uh, four actually is he gonna take out Vilnius he might actually just take out Vilnius here towards the northwest because you know why not I mean he has a few horses you might as well bonk him against the city center uh, surely he will find Zangidangsia soon oh my god can you imagine if he just grows like casually grows into the one tree and he sees that wonder and he's like oh my god this wonder has been here for all time do you guys remember Chuck's reaction when this happened <laughs> yeah uh, Sassir is pretty good on a volcano, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. But once you know where your enemy is, uh, you are surely you can afford one scout to reveal your backyard. Or maybe there will be some pocket seers, maybe huts, maybe wonders. Who knows? Exactly. Dude, he will be so mad. He will be so mad. Yes, he will be. MC Beton is not going to like this. Uh, anyway, now moving forward, we do need to take a look at Sundok. Uh, Sundok is on four cities and uh, he will need to get that journal out. I do see that Zulu did not put where are his uh, generals well did not actually put that much effort into getting generals he's only 3.4 points a turn he did get shun Tzu and got a uh, got a book from it and it looks like he's not making the projects we don't actually see him trying to deny the Sundok the general uh, as you can see in camel training project is gonna finish here in korea's territory in two turns and i do notice uh, he's getting uh, more cities out while he did manage to get Ariabata as a scientist um i do also notice in the scientist screen spain did actually manage to pick up hypatia that's gonna give him an extra uh, science point on each of his libraries and gonna get a free library in the district he is uh, gonna be in while Zankian it did manage to also be picked up by Mali Zundiata Keita over here is gonna manage to get the extra trade out capacity not to mention the extra two gold over there on the series now uh, we do also have Zulu on two, four, five series. He's getting six, seven, eight uh, out, and I do notice he's getting all the strong also in two turns from Ulundi. Definitely gonna get ready for the night timing over here, or maybe coarser timing. Uh, we do need to see how Shaka is gonna try to evolve uh, his strategy against his opponent. It's not an easy land to go through, but I do imagine he's gonna have stronger units than Korea for some time until the Hawajas come out. Uh, the Hawaja timing is probably over over here for any kind of push of Zulu. And so he needs to be careful. It's either before attacking or after attack. Uh, Zangitangsi is much better early game than late game. So every turn he doesn't get it. It's huge loss. Yes, I'm pretty sure the turns of uh, Zangitangsi actually being useful are way gone. Way gone. They, they, it would have been useful like maybe 15 turns ago or something. My fire. Good evening, sir. And welcome. How are you doing? Well, uh, looking on... Uh... Sundok, 
We do need to see also Magnus in the second city, Mokshan first, uh, Pingala in the E side. He does have 18 signs for 23 culture and he did choose a pen brush and voice golden age. Only 47 points of production though. Uh, we do have actually across the board here, Ledo Reeves managing to get more production points than their opponent. 67, 63, 66, 67 and another 52. And while on Confitur uh, Confitorings we only have 47, 53, 43, 56. They're a bit lower in production and I do have to mention on 57 fan or Rush you gotta take into account that face generation also he's on 52 uh, 54 faith turn over here this is not something you want to just take lightly you know we do have uh, the trader from novgorod actually connecting um to the capital with a road those two cities while he's gonna start actually chopping this um territory he's gonna start improving the f uh, mines over it we do also need to see how many other cities he's gonna get another two settlers coming around and of course using that faith generation of 56 to buy out builders and allow him him to keep on snowballing because you know that's what we like to see snowballing now we do also see an encampment being placed from Egypt. This is going to be quite dangerous for Egypt to defend um, against uh, Mapuche or from Mapuche with uh, horses coming around uh, at the moment from Mapuche. We do have 32 signs and 32 culture for Lotaro. He's eight turns away from castles and he's going for drama and poetry. I guess he does want the double campus card over here. The thought he's going mercenaries as quickly as possible so he can upgrade those mano raiders with enough uh, gold because, you know, why now we do have him also with uh, only 14 gold a turn they definitely need to get more gold and let do reeves 14 minus 6 uh, plus 27 plus 54 is not that much on the other side we do have um, mc button of 48 i do see also uh, tom pret with 52 16 on jeru and studios is going to be on 18 uh, looking at uh, Sundiata Keita, so we do have uh, him managing to get the uh, Temple of Artemis going with uh, three turns to finish. This is quite surprising. Uh, Russia actually gave up on that one that I'm pretty sure he would have had uh, the opportunity to build it, especially with this uh, deer tile on the right side, or even with this deer tile here uh, next to St. Petersburg. Uh, with um, uh, Sundiata Keita also getting Vingala in the city of Kirina, he did already manage to finish the pyramids, giving him uh, one free builder and one extra charge for each of his builders. For from then on this is extremely powerful uh, pulling down some encampments he will need to fend off attacks at some point from spain from the south and of course he's going to need to build a big big army for that uh, he's also I'm pretty sure he's getting the feudalism timing because he's going for all of these uh, builders uh, in the city centers and of course he doesn't have monumentality to actually make work there creepy spongebob thank you so much for the follow sir and welcome uh did i just miss i think i did oh my god i'm sorry i uh, missed the chats on uh, the screen over here uh click 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 i'm sorry i'm sorry uh he must say one three tiles next to if he does not it's a sin yeah uh civ player civ six player something like the die hard civ five players when it comes to civ seven and baxter i can't wait to actually see if that's gonna be true or not i gotta say it, I, again it is a it is gonna be quite an interesting uh, period over here to see if um it uh rises up to the expectations or not I do believe uh, civ six did rise to the expectations of being better than civ five um we'll see if civ seven does Okay, and well, uh, Lotaro, Lotaro, Lotaro. Multiple horses, already a general. So we do have three generals already acquired. I would imagine already Korea did get one. No, he did not yet get one. Let's actually see the points over here. Did he manage? Oh yeah, there we go. He's He just got one. While Zulu, unfortunately, it was a bit too late. He's 0 0.2 points away from recruiting another one. Uh, and Hunger is trying to get a general. I don't think he's going to get one. Like if uh, Zulu is going to get one, I don't think uh, Hunger is going to get one. And that's going to cause a bit of an issue here. If Sondo can defend him, himself uh, Matthias Corvinus, Corvinus will have problems defending himself against Mapuche and uh, I do see that Tomprot is actually quite late on his science and culture compared to his next door neighbor Lotaro. I also want to point out this land is much more easier to go through and the city of Pex is such an easy target over here with uh, three tiles to attack four tiles to attack into it and it is behind the, uh, like next to the mountains with the back against the mountains. Comparing th that land of uh, movement like look uh, look at this you can get one two three four five six seven turns to attack the city of pex while over here in the north is going to be like let's take it from the outside right from the outside of the borders one two three four five 
six, seven, oh, eight, eight, we actually get to Abydos. Oh, wait a second, this might be happening, this might be happening. Let's actually see where is he going to go. Pretty sure both directions, he should go both directions. Right now, he, he needs to get like 15 horses, 16 horses, and just upgrade them at that timing of cancels. He does need five turns, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't have mercenaries, because, you know, he's going to record the history. Even if he would have had that much culture, I'm pretty sure he didn't have enough for both sides, for both top three and bottom three. Remember on the civic tree, you basically have a big choice over here after political philosophy. If you're going uh, top three games of rec, uh, games and rec, or uh, drama and poetry in the bottom. If you go games and rec, you have access to feudalism, you have access to mercenaries. If you go bottom tree, you have access to recorded history for the double uh, campus card and also civil service alliance, not to mention divine right, the next year government, which is uh, usually the one getting rushed to because usually you do manage to get enough culture to actually discover it before the um, second era ends uh, overall civ 7 feels much more single player fun focus lots of quality of life uh, ideas uh, less micromanagement feature which are great for single player but not uh, fair not for multiplayer yeah well let's see let's see what they do uh, civ 7 will be fine it is uh, if it is mod friendly uh, you're right you're right if it is mod friendly i'm pretty sure uh, we will have quite a few smart modders actually trying to make it work right we'll see we'll see uh, we did have some very 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 smart modders in the community actually giving their time and i can only thank them for it and they made the whole community uh, very 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 good uh with their work which is so so nice um and yes i do know some people didn't like other people and some people didn't like other people and so on and so forth but at the end everybody actually pitched in to make a better community uh, Cisco said it was less mod friendly than Civ 6. Um, we don't know, Machiavelli. Honestly, we don't know. I have no idea. Personally, I don't know. And until I actually hear it from the horse's mouth, uh, it's hard for me to actually say yes or no. It's uh, almost like they care about. Uh, besides, the networking is still bad, as bad as, uh, which is the real problem with it uh, for us specifically. We don't know so many details of Ma uh, Machiavelli. I don't think it uh, actually is hel um, helpful in general for us and for them and for the chat and so on and so forth to keep assuming stuff. Let's actually see it. Okay, sure. Like in three assumptions, we might actually see the same the same um, things carrying over from six six into six seven. Uh, but in uh, another way, we might actually see new things so we don't know um until we get the reveal we saw so little so little guys it's so little it's so tiny then the... anyway it doesn't help anyone to make assumptions actually it only creates false hope if you make assumptions um anyway <clears throat> In the city state screen, we do have Muscat with Venice and Bandar Brunei for the trade bonuses. I do see uh, Rapa Nui with Vilnius and Namadol for the culture. Uh, we do also have Fatusa over here as the single science city state in the game. And that is going to be to the east of Cleopatra, west of um, Zulu. Uh, we do have actually Zulu <laughs> getting attacked by one Korean archer. And it looks like uh, both of them are actually just shooting arrows between themselves here. Now, while I do notice uh, Zulu is still not building up an army, he did manage to um, get to one turn a commercial from the capital city uh, looks like he hit some uh, timings over here on uh, some uh, discounts very nice very nice korea also getting spearmen out uh, to fend off attacks looks like he's more worried about the west he's actually more worried about mapuche than he's of zulu can you imagine that he's more worried oh wait a second mapuche is his ally why is he no he's not sorry no he's not never mind never mind I got confused. Well, it does seem like Mapuche is sending a few units towards the east side and a few units towards the west and a few units towards the north. I mean, who would have thought that Mapuche is going to send units everywhere if he could? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. I just know that I know him pretty well. I'm very certain in what I say. Okay. Uh, okay, let's talk about Chinese Ninja Samurai Monkey Game. When that, that game looked great. I'm going to say that game looked great. Uh, yeah. Not really familiar with all of the drama around it, but I did hear something about it. I think Asmon Gold talked about it, so I'm not going to cover the subject. Um, let's actually see. More cities coming up from Zulu, and I do notice Hungary did actually levy the city of Namadol to get to attack Mali. Oh, get, get a look at this. Temprot is actually going to try to do some damage here with the units levied from Namadol. Did not upgrade them into swordsman or something stronger than um, the, the units that Namadol had, but still, that's pretty good. Uh, he's still 
gonna do a bit of uh, pressure here on uh, Mali City of Timbuktu. Uh, while we do have new settlers coming around, Mali is gonna need to get some units here to fend off attacks. Yeah, because Benny Hill was such a great scientist. <laughs> you should totally do what he said. Kick top on your Never assume when you assume you make an uh, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a Souls-like game from what I saw. Yeah, and everybody was excited of, about the hard game. Can you imagine actually people... Man, I can't believe actually there were people suing the devs from making hard games. Did, did you know that? People are crazy enough to actually sue devs for making hard games? I feel like dying inside one step at a time. What is your opinion about this chat? Am I the only one that's just like, what the? F Am I the only one thinking this? Anyway, uh, we do have two more turns for uh, Lotaro to actually get those units uh, into the, uh, how to say, out so he can get the Manor Raiders. I do see four on the west, four on the north, four on the east. Yeah, yeah, we got units coming around everywhere. I'd also notice Hungary did deploy his army towards the northeast. No unit to defend the city of Pex. And while I do see Hungary did send a scout to see what's going on, Russia is actually running after it to, to try to uh, take it out before he sees the Manor Raiders. Uh, in the south, uh, Russia did manage to start to put down his theater squares amphitheaters here and uh, i do see a wild morier coming in hello there sir and good evening funny thing is that is most human thing i heard in a long time <laughs> wait what 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 was the whole, wait don't i'm playing snow break right now turns out silver uh, johnny silver has an anime game it's pretty fun <laughs> okay anyway uh, okay, so let's see. Well, Ostron did finish. Uh, Spain did actually get quite a few cities. Two, four, six, seven. And I do notice he's uh, right now plugging in Pingala in Seville. It doesn't seem like he actually made use of his horse to take out Vinius. And of course, he might have been worried of getting too close to Zulu. Uh, we do have uh, new Ikandas coming around here from Zulu. And uh, I do have to mention in the general screen, we did have Trung Truck being picked up by Zulu. He did also get uh, the early Shun Tzu. While uh, we did have Korea picking of Hannibal Barca and Mapuche getting out Burica. Uh, we do have Hildegard of Binga, the next one. Maybe Russia would actually want this. Uh, I do see in the Great Engineer screen, there's nothing extremely good, but I do see Egypt is just gonna have a pick over here today, tonight, for Marco Polo. Gonna get an extra trader, a free trader in his empire, while Sundiata Keita did manage to get the other trader. Remember, there are three of them at the beginning, or I should say, um, from the beginning to the mid game in the merchant screen that could give him extra trade routes um wait you're the guy who played csgo with the racing wheel whoa 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 how can you play the, the csgo with the racing wheel hello what wow okay i mean that 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 is heavy that is heavy Uh, I do see encampments coming around here from Camby, and uh, yes, uh, finally he's actually gonna get uh, the city and the settler coming around from his capital, moving towards the east side. Um, we do not see him with that many cities though. Two, four, six, and soon to be seven cities. It doesn't uh, eight cities actually. He's gonna have eight cities. It does seem like uh, two, four, six, eight uh, Zulu would be quite n the same level. We do have Spain also two, four, six, eight. Everybody's going for eight cities. Okay, not everybody. What is going on here and on hungary you do see how actually late he was because he didn't get his bonuses unfortunately for his uh pearl, from his pearl of the danube and uh yes he's gonna have one two three more settlers to come out of his cities but it still might not be enough especially with the army of mapuche and coming in getting ready to uh, bonk his opponent's uh, cities i would imagine mapuche might end the game right here right now if um tombrot is not actually gonna start chopping out oh no uh units uh, from the city of egypt uh, with the builder he got or from pex with the builders he's coming out uh that might be a big problem for hungary and remember these units are not actually gonna go towards a single direction they're gonna go towards the north towards egypt and bong these cities they're gonna go towards the east towards uh, korea and bong these cities they're gonna be everywhere trying to pillage their opponents uh it's on youtube look it up okay okay uh it's it has a ps5 uh, controller built on into the center of the screen okay, uh, the, the wheel i mean it's actually a logitech wheel made for ps5 wow <laughs> 
Mm. I did have, um, you know, I do have some friends that actually tried to build themselves so like custom chairs uh, and um, uh, I would say the whole setup for racing. Uh, they really like to f uh, play that uh, Forza Horizon. I'm not sure I ever got into it. I, I mean, I understand the idea of uh, trying to actually play a simulator, but it kind of feels like it needs a little bit of fun, like the Need for Speed ones or something, you know. Um, but yeah, I can I can definitely imagine it is amazing. Okay, Manoritas did get upgraded over here in Mapuche. He's going to start moving towards his opponent with the Western Army and the, with the North Army. I don't think he's actually going to upgrade these ones on the East. He's, uh, these look more like uh, defensive. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I'm wrong. He did upgrade three of them. He did upgrade three of them at least. I would have definitely upgraded these ones. But anyway, maybe he does have gold. Does he have gold? No. He, he just ran out of... They all ran out of all of the gold. I do have to mention the difference in science and culture is actually quite troubling. Be, uh, be, um, I would say... Uh, between Matthias Corvinus and uh, Lotaro, we definitely need to see how things are going to fare. I'm pretty sure they also see on Lotaro 600 military strength. They know what's coming in through the forest. Uh, we do have uh, Hungary sending Crucilicinius Crassus uh, on the front line to see what Mapuche is going to do. Mapuche only needs to actually uh, step on that great merchant to deny the visibility, <laughs> but that will also give an idea to Hungary that there are units on the way. And three turning spearmen is not going to help at all. He actually needs to chop these and chop these faster and wait a second did hungary just get boats out whoa did he just chop two boats out and he's going for more wait a second is he actually gonna want to challenge russia on the seas while he's gonna be challenged himself by mapuche malo raiders <gasps> really no wait uh, especially if you have psvr or well, i don't know what psvr uh oh oh like uh the playstation virtual reality or something is that what it means Malons are already here, sir. Yes, Malons are already here. Uh, also, Machiavelli, I'm not sure if I can actually... Uh, I don't know what to search on YouTube. Just CSGO Racing Wheel, basically, like as the keywords. I'm going to look it up. Maybe some YouTubers over here can give me an answer to that question. Anyway. Uh, let's actually see. <clears throat> Zulu still didn't start to build up an army. Now he's getting some swordsmen now, but it does seem like uh, he's kind of late on actually getting his um, army towards Korea. We did have a lot of gold being invested in Fidus, and he might actually get uh, quite a bit more gold if he does manage to punch through the initial defenses of Hungary or his uh, northern neighbor, uh, Egypt. By the way, Egypt is trying to get knights out. He's just one turn away from stirrups, and I do see he's uh, getting a few heavy chariots. They definitely will need to invest some gold into these uh, to get that going and did he actually not still not see zangi dancia oh my god man oh my god man yeah I i'm just you know i'm gonna casually click on the clip button and i'm gonna just make a clip out of this man because this this needs to be remembered. This needs to be remembered. Okay, there we go. Uh, the hidden jewel. Okay, let's call it the hidden jewel. Publish. There we go. Publishing. Okay, uh, very unlucky. Yeah, th I mean, that's the scene we actually put in line thrower and under road. That's basically the scene. Very, I, I don't know if you can call this unlucky, man. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, I, I'm quite surprised he didn't actually buy the one three time uh, if, a bit of time ago and just to get that extra production going in the city center. But anyway, it is what it is. We do have more cities deployed to the east. I do see the city of Sess in the north did start to get his upgrades going. And we do have the Malo Raiders uh, starting to move towards their uh, opponent cities, towards Hungary by the looks of it. Uh, Hungary over here is seeing them with an archer. I do see he's scrambling to get more spearmen out. And I'm, I do want to mention these uh, spearmen are not going to hold the Malo Raiders. He does need men at arms. <clears throat> and right now, Matthias Corvinus is barely discovering his uh, mathematics. He should get the next technology, right? Uh, with uh, galleys going towards the south, it looks like Russia is going to need to get his own galleys out. And I'm pretty sure this is a challenge that uh, Russia just accepted to fight off on the seas hungry here. Three cities versus one. I think we kind of know who's going to win this. Now, we do also need to see what's going on between Zulu 
and his opponent with both generals just watching each other angrily. It looks like they're actually just, you know, seeing each other's eyes and not actually shooting arrows here. We do have uh, <clears throat> a few units uh, from um, Zulu moving towards the front line. No, I think he actually just got them close to each other. Is he going to take out Johannesburg? He might actually just take out Johannesburg. Uh, trying to chop the statue of Zeus with Magnus in the city of Kwadukuza. He did start to put down some of these Alcazars. These, um, these are going to be quite useful from Granada, giving him that extra nice and juicy culture. Not to mention making them good tiles, right? Two, two, three tiles are actually quite workable. One three one twos uh, with uh, yeah, it's workable. It's quite nice. And look at that. He is just four tens away from getting statue of Zeus, getting three of the spearmen, three of the archers, and a battery ram with that army. He can definitely send all of them towards the southwest. A big issue that I see is he doesn't have a trader from Ungum Dundulovu, the city on the far west side of his empire, connecting to the capital or at least this road pathway over here. So he can actually move those units quickly. Like while horses can actually move quickly, the swords do take a lot of time to actually get going well find us i do have to say he didn't actually uh, keep his army connected uh, he doesn't get that much of a flanking bonus here and uh, yes i do see he has uh, relatively weak units to go against hungary for some time it would have been extremely useful if he would have managed to actually get these going with that um I would say uh, connected like next to each other uh, in the north we do have actually uh, Findus going for the main cities of Rakedet not actually going towards Neken where uh, the governor Victor has established and where Egypt MC Beton did uh, choose to build up his major defense now uh, we might actually see him uh, going very quickly to pillage some tiles here well 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 he discovered uh, knights and now he's gonna need to put a lot of chops into just getting a single knight I don't have to say this is a bit of a desperate move over here but desperate times call for desperate measures we do have mc beton trying to get an encampment training project definitely desperate to get another one of these uh, generals uh, the medieval ones are available for him and zulu is gonna get one with 11.5 points a turn well it's gonna be uh, probably another one actually picked up by uh, before anybody else uh, we do have um, Egypt that needs two, at least two uh, projects, if not even more, because he's only 3.4 great general points a turn, and he only has like 10 in his bank. So there we go. First attack started off. We do have Malor Raiders with seven movement going towards Abydos, and I gotta say, man, I'm glad I was mistaken. He got through this um, hilly terrain extremely quickly. And I do have to mention, what is this on Stulius? He's actually making so much of a defense on the west side. He's so worried that Mapuche, and granted that those worries are true, are going to come for him. Those manor leaders from Mapuche are going to come from him. Korea has built a little line of um, spearmen that is uh, spanning on his western border, deployed on the western border. Now, another encampment training project for him to uh, get those bonuses. And I do notice in the south, he did place uh, Gong in Gongju, uh, Governor Victor. Uh, looking at the eels, I do have to mention we do have a significant difference between Le Tourives and Le Confitorings. Uh, we got 77, 113, 103, and 102 production on the side of Le Tourives, uh, while on the Le Confitorings we only have like 98, 99, 43, 94. This is just going to cause a bit of an unbalance uh, during the next phase of the game if they don't manage to actually fix this with uh, something else. Yes, I do have to mention we are in the... Um, Lotaro Mano Reader timing and that will put a lot of pressure on the players they will try to get the defenses up and there was a lot of uh, production being spent on the experiment to try to keep away these pesky ma Puche Mano Readers from his land and the biggest question is how much value can Egypt can uh, can uh, Mano Readers get out of this uh, opposing territory with uh, quite a few units to go against we do have uh, Hungary trying to fend off attacks to the east of uh, Buda <laughs> Findus did manage to find his way on one of his uh, opponents um, opponents commercials and he does have promotions on some of his manual readers wait all of his manual readers okay wow did he just lose he, he i think he lost a uh, manual reader here sketchy underscore cs has joined the round table <laughs> uh thank you for the follow sketchy cs much appreciated sir and welcome uh russia seems uh no no come on man what do you mean like look at him go 29 science to 52 culture 114 production 126 faith he's fighting on the seas with hungary pushing him back and at the same time uh, he should be getting more cities let's see he's on two four six seven cities doesn't really have where to otherwise go right he needs to place non-freshwater cities and i don't think he's ready to invest into non-freshwater cities so he's going a little bit further to the west side 
which is understandable. Like the land to the east side is kind of quite quite bad, quite bad. Yeah, I think he's doing fine. He's uh, yeah, he's doing fine. I think he's doing fine. Do negative members, uh, but Mali carrying so hard they will have more gold. Well, Mali is already on 129 gold a turn, and Fanman is on 40 on uh, Zulu. I'm pretty sure of he's gonna go down a little bit here while he's gonna start getting his armies out. Uh, in the meantime, he's getting boats out from Ulundi. Okay, well, I guess they're. I guess I think they're actually putting all of their eggs in the basket of Lotaro over here, trying to uh, help Lotaro do as much damage as possible and slow down their opponents uh, while they are getting their sim up and to be honest it is kind of happening we do have uh, Zulu 45 science and 69 culture versus Seondox 44 and 43 uh, about the same production definitely better gold uh, Sundiata Keita is on 60 science 62 culture and 103 points of production versus uh, Philip II's 55 and 47 with 107 points of production looks like Spain over here is also starting to put the first industrial zones of the map down and he does have some uh, aqueduct placements for them uh, we uh, do see this is gonna be industrial zone right we do see also him getting a great profit and we'll get a religion soon we got four more turns until the next era it is unbelievable that three games in a row i actually talked about um, the era in the first one in the second one four turns out i i can't believe this i'm i'm not making this up i'm not actually clicking on the button and looking anywhere i'm, I'm for some reason fate made me click that button at that point in time uh, Blaze has reached his message limit. Me, bro, me, bro, bro. <laughs> Whoa. Blaze got games, man. man. You're gonna blaze those messages. Now, holy sight in seven in two tens. I did hear a lot of pillages being done. Where are the pillages? So one, two, Gavron Plaza did die. Uh, Egyptian knights are dying against the Manor Raiders. Oh my god, man. But so are the Manor Raiders attacking to the knights. Uh, taking a bit of a uh, whoop whoop. Uh, I do also notice Mapuche did pillage uh, these tiles of um, Hungary. And he's not building new units. He does still have like three horses that could be upgraded. Two horses that could be upgraded. And already a Manor Raider did get... Uh, upgrades now uh, while uh, in the south it does seem like at the moment russia did not actually click the button to start attacking the hungarian galleys i would imagine he's clicking on um, cartography right now let's actually take a look construction in four divine right in one not clicking cartography yet in the era score screen we got stulios two points out and i'm pretty sure he's gonna get the golden age jeru is uh, already over the threshold the 64 to 50, uh, 57 uh temprot is gonna be tem route actually he's gonna be 55 53 that means he got over it uh, mc beton is 54 52 we do have uh, 47 and 51 on findus i do see 57 fan on 50 out of 55 uh fatman on 51 51 and uh Kiam bambi on 74 out of 76 let's see if they do manage to get those uh religions going uh sorry those points going can be theater square festival how many of these is he making okay so he's gonna get at least one of these uh writers uh, one of the points from the writers before the next uh, era that's gonna be another point so i'm pretty sure he's gonna get it now we do have um also 57 fan needing four more points what is he gonna get is this a plus four industrial zone no that's a plus three um okay what is he gonna get he did manage to get a writer of his own and he is making 9.2 great writer points a turn unless he gets a project which which he is getting a project he might actually um I would say get one of those writers with it. Uh, we do have Moscow to, uh, getting uh, another um, Lavra in the south, another Lavra in Astrakhan. More of these shrines. He's getting so much faith and so much food from all of those. By the way, 127 right now. Uh, 31 science, 60 culture, but is negative in the gold. Does it matter though? Especially with the... Um, lotaro pillages we already have the gold that lotaro invested into his army being brought back into that empire from his opponents he did manage to actually pillage the mines and the commercials of uh, hungary or these three of them did manage to um, also do damage over here to egypt economic damage is still a lot of damage uh, making forcing your opponent to actually build units in the situation that well he needs to defend his styles over here every one of them um did not click the buttons yeah it didn't click the buttons 
You know, we do have quite a few Marianos that are getting into position to the north of Neken to start shooting down these uh, Malon Raiders. You do see they don't have that much damage to do, but still they will slowly, slowly eat away at the Malon Raiders. Uh, we did have some units being sent here, and it looks like Korea did manage to get his uh, pikemen up. Uh, that Oh, oh, and these Malon Raiders might have found target. In the city of Thebes, uh, there's only one single builder, and I do see Egypt did set up that city so he can trade with Sundok. Well, we do have boats from Zulu trying to figure this out. If if, uh, that is what is happening or uh, it's not what is happening yeah yeah he knows about this he knows about the connection to egypt uh and i do want to see what is he doing with units not doing much actually not doing anything oh he did get the units from statue of zeus starting to move towards the west putting down a few more campuses and he's kind of waiting he's chilling he's he's not doing that much you know, to be honest i mean there's not that big of a pressure from Sundog right now it's 58 science and 48 culture doesn't seem like he's far ahead of him right so not a lot of pressure being placed on um on zulu uh, <clears throat> uh MPs are also going to be available for him next time to upgrade i do see um the uh, how to say uh, uh, military tactics uh, technology i think it's military tactics oh kick double yes it is military tactics uh, discovery the many times and the pikemen or i should say the replacement mp <clears throat> We do have him uh, needing to figure out where he wants to go with his uh, military. Uh, does have a few of these swordsmen towards uh, Johannesburg. And I think actually Johannesburg is an enemy city. Because I see these units are actually low HP. Wait, Johannesburg, Fanman and Studios are actually fighting for it. I see. So that's Korea and uh, Zulu. Both of them actually fighting for supremacy here in Johannesburg. While we do have the battery ram coming in from the north. Uh, we do need to see when it's going to arrive. And how quickly it's going to arrive on uh, Johannesburg borders. That will give the swordsman the ability to do full damage against the walls and take them out very quickly uh, they have a free promotion so they're really close to the dep dep depredation promotion yes and it has one movement it used to have uh, the depredation effect for free but they removed it thankfully yes yes that was uh, that was yes yes thank god uh, I do also notice Hungary is one turn away from getting his own pikemen <laughs> he does have unfortunately a, u a weak unit here next to Kursek, which is going to get bonked, and another one of these, there we go, is going to get behind the, the lines there. So right now, there are two of these Mano Raiders able to actually attack into the city of Kursek. Uh, that city is going to get beefed up with a bit more strength when the Spearman is going to get upgraded into Pikeman next time. And uh, we're going to need to see if they do have the money for it. They don't have the money for it. 51, 20, 35, and 6. That's the total amount of gold they have on their team. While they're barely making mm, like 100 and something. 110 gold a turn here. Yeah, we do have uh, Spain also starting to get a few units in the north. I do see Hungary is putting a city on his coast so he gets to trade with somebody um, in the next part of the game. While uh, more of these uh, heavy chariots are coming out, we do need to check out his religion. Zen meditation for the extra amenity in the cities with a specialty district. While Defender of the Faith is going to get uh, plus 3 combat strength uh, when within his borders of uh, city converted to his uh, religion. Well, he does definitely need to make a lot more work, a lot more pressure over here on the religious screen uh, temple coming in for russia i do see grandmaster chapel being built in, G in uh, st petersburg he's gonna start to get the ability to uh, use the faith per turn to buy out units which is gonna be extremely valuable um it used to have the uh, uh, mapuche seems to get picked in 75 uh, percent of the games yeah 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 mapuche here extremely strong uh, i cannot actually stress this enough mapuche very strong very strong nation has that awesomeness ability to just slow down your opponents so they can't do any that much yeah, Mapuche, I do see he lost uh, at least two Malo Raiders over here, but mm, the cost of some of the units of Egypt, I do see some of the knights over here are actually quite low HP. Now we do have more Marianos coming in, and I'm pretty sure Mapuche can actually two-tap these quite easily. <laughs> Not the city center, though. Uh, thieves, thieves, thieves might go down. We do have two Malo Raiders next to it, and this might be the first city taken away from uh, their opponents by Mapuche. I see it happen all the time, but wasn't sure why and how. Okay. Kick. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, let's see how things are going here. Oh, city got taken. 
And it looks like Mapuche did manage to do the damage against Tombred, uh, Tombrout before that uh, upgrade went through. The Spearman never actually got the upgrade for the Pikeman. The city was low HP. And there we go. Mapuche took a city from Hungary. Putting Hungary back to four cities. And I gotta say, back to basically three cities. Because the city of Egypt is going to get attacked by the galleys also. With a GMC coming in, I'm pretty sure there might be some units uh, being bought in Smolensk and sent towards Egypt to uh, put that city under siege. While we do have Russia needing to go for cartography on the top three so he can actually get these uh, galleys some upgrades going russia is going for education in fortress and i gotta say he doesn't really have a lot of science he's gonna need a lot more if he wants to go there but with so much production so much face per turn i think he should be able to right 81 culture 35 science 141 uh, points of faith and 158 points of production we do have um, also Kambi with 140 science. Oh my god, man. 140 science with 100 culture here. For Sudiata Keita. I think uh, we might know who's going to get banned the most of games. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Is money getting through next game? Um, wait, uh, mine, it's a disgusting save. I think it should be perma banned. Yeah, I mean, it does get a lot of bans. Uh, punishes you for being in a golden, annoying pillage you. You is uh, just horrible experience, man. I gotta say, I've seen so many players just rage quit in the um, normal CPL game because just casually several Malor leaders from across the map started coming into their territory and pillaged everything. It is so annoying to see your empire in smoke like that, right? You watch, you actually cater to one of your uh, every one of your tiles. You got the builders, you build the food, the pastures, you got the plantations, you got the camps, you got everything going. Your people are happy. And then these sneaky bastards are coming in and starting to take away your cities oh my god really bro really anyway we do have um Vilius coming around here and it does seem like a, we do have a pause give me a second uh shinto uh wait i need this we're gonna have a pause for two minutes and we're gonna come back after it uh Yeah, the destroyer is around here somewhere. Just uh, hiding in the bushes around here. Uh, bonjour, bonsoir, Congal Renanas. How are you doing, sir? Also, Crandelu, hello, there's in the world. Oh, Crandelu. Uh, I think he has so many pymen. It's crazy. Yeah, on the west side, he did manage to actually push back uh, the Malo Raiders, but I don't think they can actually help out the city of Thebes. That's going to be another city being taken away by these Malo Raiders. So, right now, it's Malo Raiders 2, his opponent 0. Now, with a city taken away from Hungary and a city taken away from Egypt, it does seem like right now the Confitorings are actually in trouble. Uh, we do have uh, to take a look what happened in the Congress. Uh, 10 religious strength from Glagla. Uh, we do have Great Riders, no points. Okay, Sundiata Keita gaining the two Diplo points. Uh, okay, okay. Well, let's actually see how he's going to go. Wow, he was making theater square festivals. Well, it is what it is. Now, getting another settler here. And I do notice he did choose to go for a free inquiry gold range. That's the reason and he has so much science and culture but so little production only on 112 and only 17 faith a turn he does have 200 gold a turn so don't get me wrong it's still very strong um, fan man on zulu is on 64 science with 57 culture he does have um, 185 points of production that's 50% uh, more than Sundok has and by the looks of it we do have horseman cores coming out from his series a bit questionable a bit of a question here why is he getting those but i do have to point out korea on the east side he only has a watch at pre builds and not these uh, pikemen on that he deployed on the west side now we do have also Fanman in the uh, Drums of War Golden Age, so I think this is the moment, this is the era he's actually going to start going against his opponent. Did recruit Timur, did recruit uh, Ethel Fled, did actually... <clears throat> Wait, did, is Korea going to get this or is Egypt going to get this? Did Egypt get a general earlier? Egypt did not get a general earlier, so he, Egypt might actually want this general. Man, Lord Raiders got their uh, upgrades going. We do have the City of Thebes still low HP, it's 64. And I do see boats from Zulu did actually match, uh, meet the galleys of his opponent studios. We'll see how things are going to develop here. Uh, Russia, 165 faith of 10 with 170 production. Switch to a pen Russian voice golden age, getting 39 of 82. We do have... Um, 
him needing to go top three here he's still getting reformed church and education and it's gonna be quite a while until he's actually gonna get cartography with uh, more production coming up he definitely is making the most out of uh, the forest he has over here in the tundra he's chopping every one of those tiles and allowing him to get a bit of a better tempo I mean, Korea can definitely hit how much Zulu probably can't get in until the ballistics. You're true. You're actually correct over there. I did say, I did say it's uh, in between, the, uh, how to say, you gotta go around the timing of the Hawacha. So it might just be defensive measures that Zulu is taking over here in his city of Gumgundundulovu and will probably still try to take out Johannesburg altogether. Uh, Lotaro printing in three turns, diplomatic service in one. He does have the ability to take out the uh, thieves right now. It should be just an easy kill, and then he can keep on moving forward even through the Mariano Ceret Archer line. I do see uh, new Mano Raiders did get uh, upgraded in Inyap Piramapu and he might actually send um, all of them uh, soon to Egypt. While uh, Venice is getting pillaged, Mapuche is just finding tiles to get his um, yields from. With uh, 66 science and 51 culture, he's negative gold, doesn't care, he has so much gold, so much gold from the pillages, uh, trying to get uh, new cities out, he's gonna go for another two settlers, and I do see he's um, <clears throat> building up those uh, things, uh, give me a second, uh, give me a second here. Uh, sorry about that. My uh, grandma put the cat in my uh, room and then uh, she closed the room with a key from the outside. So I got trapped. Yes. Yes, my grandma trapped me in the house. What can I say? Uh, Ruidio, good evening, sir, and welcome. What was the Simpson? Well, um, you see this Zangi Dangsia? I think you can take a look at this. Um, wait, I made a clip out of it. Give me a second because I'm pretty sure it's on my um, it's on my Twitch account. Give me a second. Ah, uh, let me find it, Twitch. Let me find it. There we go. Uh, 35 minutes ago. Hidden jewel. Clicking on button. Taking this. Where is it? Share. Right? Share. Uh, copy link. There we go. This was the Sipsin, sir. This was the Sipsin. Okay. There we go. Just uh, getting my stuff in order here. Okay, on uh, Cleopatra, we do have him with a free inquiry gold range, only on 62 science and 25 culture. You can imagine how much damage Mapuche's army did to Egypt over here just by taking a look at his stats. He does have 114 points of production, which is just the same as Lotaro with less stats. And I do have to point out, it's not even close to Peter uh, stats or Shaka production or even Kambi, right? Now, uh, we do have... Um, oh, give me a second, give me a second. Helicopter Kicker retained his knighthood for 21 months. Yep, there we go. Princess is back. Hello. I think she's tired. I think she went uh, to play all day and uh, right now she's a bit tired. Helicopter Kicker, thank you so much for the 21 months, sir. Much appreciated, sir. Is it Helicopter Kickers? Because he kicks helicopters for some reason. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, every man, everybody has his passion, right? He likes to kick heli helicopters. What can you do? Uh, looking at uh, Temporot, we do have him on uh, Matthias Corvinus only on 41 science with 35 culture. Did get a 10 Russian voice golden age and uh, still will need to defend the city of Viger from his opponents. Uh, Russia did not actually start to buy out that many units to send to his opponent. He's still um, getting a few of these galleys going in Yaroslav and of course uh, working on the defense. Uh, looking on the text, uh, he's... <laughs> Still working on education, man. man. It took him so long to get here with only 44 science. Um, 
Okay, we do have uh, Philip II also with uh, Discovering Castles next turn, 82 science and 74 culture. Did choose to go for the Pembrush and Voice, which was kind of risky. I do see he did manage to take over the city of Vilnius. And uh, we do have him uh, with the army quite close to Zulu. I don't think he wants to challenge Zulu, but it might happen. So let's actually see if Fatman is going to manage to get a defense going here. Now, uh, while uh, Spain is uh, starting to build up his university count, we do have a few more of these heavy cheaters coming in. And he's beginning campus research projects. Uh, this uh, this site is have, has been uh, actually uh, passed by quite a few civilizations and we do see it ending up on the choices of Egypt and Russia soon. Uh, we do need to see if uh, Russia is going to get this uh, or if uh, Egypt is going to pick this one up. Uh, one of the reasons he's uh, trying to get projects is not only for the science, it is still for the points. He wants to be competitive to uh, get uh, um, Newton when it is, or uh, the other one or if Caldun, uh, if those are actually going to come out here and going to be available in the next ones. Now, we do also have uh, Sundok, 78 science with 50 culture, 135 uh, points of production. Sundok is uh, next to uh, Fatman, 68 and uh, 67. And I do see he still is uh, trying to catch up on the production screen. Getting intelligence agency in Guangzhou. And I do see Terracotta army is going to get finished in uh, Seoul. Uh, that's going to give him uh, quite a bit of an advantage. We do have a bigger and bigger army coming out uh, from Zulu with uh, multiple horsemen corps uh, showing up in the city of Nordwengu. We do need to see where he is going to want to use these. Uh, I don't see a trader making the roads, the pathways between his cities, but I do have to mention these um, commercials uh, next to the um, Ikandas of Zulu did create at least these um, um, how do you call them these bridges across the river so it's uh, much easier to actually cross over there with an army even if it is um, on a swordsman on foot uh, abu has been picked up that means that there's gonna start to roll through these let's actually see who's gonna get the next one so <clears throat> egypt got hildegard abu got picked up by korea next one is omar Khayyam. so yeah we don't have yet uh, newton or ib Khaldun. Uh, Mapuche has taken two cities from two different sieves. It's insane. Yeah. Uh, Spain also broken sieve. Got nerfed. Got nerfed. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Spain got nerfed quite a few times, no? Like, he's, uh, it used to be the mission was so strong. Uh, nobody like. What are you doing? Martina. Pitch if I She likes to break things. What can I say? She's just like right now, she's like basically like a light tower watching all around. What can I do? What can I break? What can I break? What can I do? Okay, that, that doesn't look good. <laughs> Smashing it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's see. 224, by the way. Uh, faith at 10 for Peter. He jumped up seriously in the last few times. We talked about him. Whoa, more than 50 faith. Now, we do have some more commercials also coming around from Spain for those extra trade routes. And finally, he can actually connect his empire with Hungary for a little bit more gold. Now, while uh, Keam Bambi is um, making 200 gold at 10 on Sundiata Keita, on the whole Confitorinx team would barely have like 100 and something, 140, 150. Now we do have uh, some more monuments coming in from Spain. Did take Vinius. We'll see how close he will be to Novamba. Cat just doing gymnastics. Uh, intelligence agency also coming around from Zulu. And I do notice he did actually get the uh, goddess of festivals as a pantheon. Didn't actually mention this earlier. He's going to get the extra um, uh, culture per turn from all of these uh, improved plantations. And that is going to give him quite a bit of an advantage here uh, from those plantations. Not bad. Not bad. Good use of... Uh, pro uh, good use of... Um, I would say bonuses there. Uh, I do see Russia is still struggling on the science. Getting the universities, don't get me wrong. He's getting new campuses. Uh, but it's still lagging behind his uh, next door neighbor here, I guess. Uh, we do have battles coming up in two turns. So while Temprot is going to get his cancels. Okay, he's not lagging behind. Uh, it doesn't seem like Matthias Corvinus is ever going to get uh, cartography. So I think this city of Eger, if he doesn't get some uh, catapults, or I should say actually trebuchets or bombards to fend off attacks from um, Russia's navy, it doesn't seem like he's going to manage to do anything with uh, the defense. 
Uh, looking on uh, Egypt, we will need to see what uh, Mapuche is going to do to that city of uh, Venice. Uh, I do see Egypt does have a few uh, knights that are just standing next to uh, the city of Nekan on the west side, uh, trying to hold off on uh, all of the mana leaders coming in. Uh, I do believe Mapuche might actually want to smash Venice before he's actually going on the offense again. With uh, more of these promotions on the mana leaders, we're going to need to see if they do manage to get to level 2s everywhere. Uh, these mana readers didn't go uh, full through. It does seem like um, I, we do see Egypt trying to put another city there. Wow. Wow. Trying to put another city there so he can connect his uh, economy with Korea. While Korea has been building up a navy, it does seem like that one galley of Zulu can actually hold for at least two more turns. <clears throat> Uh, Zulu did upgrade his Corsair cores, and yes, they, these definitely do a lot of damage even against Samachas. The question is, can he get there quick enough? With uh, Corsair cores deployed towards uh, the cities of Spain, also deployed uh, in, next to Johannesburg, we still don't know exactly his target. We don't know where he's going here. Uh, MC Beton gonna get printing in four, divine right in one. Uh, looks like also a temperate uh, castles, diplomatic victory. I need to actually. Uh... Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, Mapuche about to settle his next two cities or at least one. I don't see the next one. Okay, there we go. So he has this one, Willy Mapu to the south and this one going uh, towards the south of Gulu Mapu, quite far away though. And uh, I do see Terracotta Army in five turns finishing up in Lafkin Mapu. I do believe somebody else was going for it. Who was? Korea, right? Korea was going for it. Yeah, four turns in the city of Seoul. No builder to actually chop, but he does have a builder that could chop if he wanted to. Uh, while I do notice Mapuche doesn't have a single builder to help him out, he could have actually had the three chops that he could have put into uh, that Terracotta army. It's quite dangerous to actually leave these um, uh, Terracotta army, or I should say these important wonders, the ones that you really want to get, without um, um, guaranteeing them with a builder or something, like with a chop or something. Uh, did Spain have a continent split? Yes, Nitro. Actually, he has a beautiful continent split. He settled his first two cities on the other continent. Valladolid and Seville were his uh, B2 and B3, basically. His second and third city. The economy is starting to look better on uh, Le Confitorings. While I do notice um, Sundiata is still the one making the gold on the opposing team, he's making more than enough for everybody. Uh, needing more science, he's on 177 and 102 culture. Well, he does definitely need more production. We don't see a single industrial zone yet. Oh, we do see one. There we go. In the city of Kirina, he's going to get this. This uh, one adjacency industrial zone. Okay, it's not going to be that big, but at least after he's going to get the workshop, the factory, the everything is going to be nice. In the city-state screen, we did have Fatusa being picked up by Jeru. Uh, Spain is keeping that uh, city-state uh, envoy up with uh, 13 right now and Amari plugged in. Rapanui is uh, Sundiata Keita, on Kea Bambi. I do see Chinguetti on 57 fan. Jerusalem is still available for him to get. And I'm pretty sure he didn't see it. Now he sees it. Now he just saw it now over here with uh, his um, with his scout. That means he's gonna get more faith. I'm pretty sure he's just uh, thinking right now, mulling over the idea of putting uh, more envoys in there. Okay. Uh, Eger got hit by a flood, Butter's next turn, of course after that it's going to be cartography, I was honestly expecting another two boats here, another two galleys, but I guess you can do it with four, no problem, uh, especially since uh, his opponent is not going to get the higher strength in the city centers of Hungary. Uh, we do have Terracotta Army delayed by the looks of it. Uh, did it? Yeah, this Terracotta, that Terracotta Army got delayed. This one moved ahead with at least one turn. And uh, looking at the great people, we did have Newton. Yeah, Spain did manage to actually acquire Newton. Uh, we didn't have the um, funny scientists actually coming around, but Galileo Galilei is next, and it looks like Mapuche might be the one picking it for that extra science from the mountains around, and he does have a, a four adjacent mountain tiles over here for him to get the bonus from. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, yeah. Uh, commercial hub investment from Inapire Mapu. Let's see. Missionaries, missionaries. Okay. 
We got traders in Seville, foreign ministry is the second specializing building of choice for Spain. It does make sense because he's going for the simming. Uh, a lot of the intelligence agencies have been actually built uh, recently. So, uh, oh my God, what is uh, what is this from Zulu? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Corsair cores moving in, and guess what? Towards Spain. Spain is in trouble. Like the, these Corsair cores with a general are not something you want to joke with. And I do have to point out uh, Spain does not have a general. He's barely getting his uh, encampment in uh, Zaragoza. He did build one in Las Palmas, but he never actually did the projects for a general. Uh, right now, we do need a, he does need 155 points to recruit a general. And you do see that he barely has one great general point of tennis. So basically that encampment just finished this turn. Okay, this knight should be taken down next turn okay not this turn next turn i'm actually curious if he's gonna move forward with uh with this corsair core to block the forest movement but anyway um okay so let's see what's happening here venice has just been pillaged and uh used and now we do see the manor leader starting to move towards the west side now uh, he does have an ally there so i don't think that's actually his target he might actually just wrap around and try to go towards from the north uh, to keep egypt on his toes it will take him quite a bit of time but remember these manor leaders are quick on the hoofs we do have six movement on some uh of yeah six movement on them i don't see the general coming with that military well, I do notice there are some units from Egypt keeping on the pressure on Mapuche here, while Mapuche is totally ignoring the fact that he <coughs> will have northern units. Oh my god, I'm sorry about that. Oh, it is what it is. Give me a second so I can actually smush my face here. Is Spain on Reach Islands a normal thing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is a normal thing. It's very good. It's very good on most, um, how to say, uh, on most maps. Mm very good nation extremely adaptable those trade outs are just the gold the gold for you now uh, more heavy chariots also coming around we do have them with enough gold to upgrade nice that shouldn't be a problem it's more a problem of getting enough of them and strong enough to actually hold off uh, his opponent especially since zulu is going to come in with a general with multiple generals actually next to him and he will have uh he or he could get now nah, he doesn't have it right now but he could get the crossbowman cores which and the catapult or trebuchet cores which are extremely deadly extremely extremely good extremely good and you can see the damage. Corsair core against Knight, just it's not a challenge. A military alliance has activated. I do see Spain does have a military alliance of his own, plus six from the ideal terrain. The Knight does not have um, the, def uh, the defense bonus yet. The fortified bonus, I mean. And Korea did not upgrade his boat, uh, these units, but he did manage to actually get out of uh, his uh, choke point over there, allowing him to actually do damage against Zulu's um, capital city. While I do notice uh, Fanman is just putting catapults uh, out from his Ikandas, I would imagine he does want those for the offense and not the defense. Now, we did have actually uh, Jeru trying to get out of there with uh, his knight, while uh, these Corsairs don't have enough movement to get there. Unfortunately, he hesitated and that knight got away. uh one time left of uh, capital yeah 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 that, that's the continent split continent split is beautiful over here okay mm so more nice getting upgraded these uh courses okay wait a second yeah yeah there we go the full strength courses are just uh, a bit too hard to handle and we do need to see how hunger is going to handle this uh, Russia over here is four turns away from cartography and I'm pretty sure he did manage to get mercenaries with a, a hundred plus culture now we do have uh, more galleys coming in Novgorod Kazan he did build a few warriors to fend off attacks from a possible um, Spanish incursion while I do see he's getting his diplo quarter in Astrakhan it is a bit late for the diplo quarter but why not I'd also want to mention you do see that uh, Le Confitorings did manage to get more science uh, out of this era right now Compared to um, uh, Ledo Reeves, we're going to need to see if the attacks that are being um, prepared right now by Shaka, by Russia, um, and uh, I guess also Lotaro in the north, right? Oh no, he's actually, where is he going? Wait, is he going to wrap around all of this to actually get to here, to Hungary? That's a long way. Anyway, I guess it is what it is. And while Zulu is um, going against Spain, that will slow down Spain significantly with printing coming up next turn. These units of uh, Spain will defend a little bit better and he is also getting uh, Victor established in there. I don't know if he has the second promotion, but we're going to find out if he has the plus three to give to all of these defensive units.
uh who's winning against us is calling out that's a good question let's actually uh, ask chat what do we have here in the prediction it looks like uh, 84 percent actually put the points in ledori it's only 16 percent uh thought the confitorings are actually gonna get this game we'll see we'll see if that is uh, the truth Okay, uh, Hungary still didn't upgrade anything here. Uh, there are a few units from Russia that are coming around from Smolensk. Uh, just to put a little bit of pressure on Hungary. And I'm pretty sure that Archer is going to be doomed, I tell you. Uh, in the meantime, let's actually take a look at this. Uh, we're probably going to see Zulu try to figure out his way through his opponent. You can see he's not doing the one tap anymore on that Spanish knight. But he can two tap it if he wants to. And uh, I do see he is going to take out the Corsa right next to uh, Vilnius while, of course, Spain did try to actually uh, get that tile back with his knight. He, unfortunately, he couldn't. Now, we do have uh, another uh, few more units coming in through the fog of war to get next to the city of Vilnius. And, of course, we're going to need to see if the counterattack can actually do anything. No, he can't. Uh, Spain does have Defender of the Faith uh, belief in that city center. So he's definitely going to have this one. Um, I would say uh, this extra extra defense on those uh, units can he take out this courser though he could he could take out the courser and then he might actually just uh, step on Ethelfled uh, to make him uh, go back to nobamba that is gonna uh, take away plus five and an extra movement speed from all of these courses and will make this um, army much uh, squishier uh, test your might <laughs> round out uh, wait wait round one fight yeah yeah there we go there we go so, so, i mean i i did say i didn't I should reconnect the sounds anymore, yeah, but I can definitely do them. <laughs> I I can definitely do them, man. Okay, let's see. Uh, workshops uh, Kirina, Oracle coming in from Niani, looks like also Kilba Kisivani getting built in Tagmika, Kea Bambi is just uh, simming around, also fooling around with Colosseum from the city of Gen, unbelievably, with, it, with 1062 on 1062, not have uh, Colosseum built anywhere, uh, everybody was busy with something else, right, fighting and stuff like that, it's it's hard, man, uh, we do have uh, Industrial Zones also coming around from Team Baktu, and uh, more universities for the science here on Mali, Anonymous Gifter dropping five gifted subs in the chat. Thank you so much, Anonymous. Getting oh, Anonymous, you came back. Thank you so much, sir. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Now we got Magnus in the uh, Abyros. I do also notice Mapuche did plug in a spy in his opponent's cities, and I do see um, the units of Egypt are actually going uh, to attack in Apire Mapu here, uh, giving a taste to Mapuche of his own um, mischievous uh, nature over here. We do have uh, the knights that are sitting on mine tiles, and definitely with uh, the Malo Raiders that are going to come out, they will try to get this uh, up. Now we do have uh, also Mapuche getting crossbows uh, for the party here in the north. Uh, click, 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 chat in order. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, Hungary, 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 Hungary. How oh, I'm come on, man. Did he finish cartography? Yeah, he did finish cartography. That was quick on Russia. Um, maybe uh, Kia Bambi actually boosted him to it. Uh, let's actually see if he's uh, gonna get this going. Uh, I do see also Egypt is trying to get boats out. Uh, his uh, cartography in uh, three turns, which is a bit of a surprise. Uh, he definitely doesn't have that many he, galleys. Uh, Korea did manage to get five galleys, uh, six galleys out from his cities, and uh, he's also gonna need to fend off. Uh, attacks from possible Zulu here uh, we do have a Zulu co um, catapult core in the city of Volundi giving him uh, the defense and of course uh, Zulu right now is still more attracted to building universities than actually fighting his next door neighbor now Fatman is on 124 science 74 culture and he's in a constant race to keep up with the stats of Sundok while one is in drums of war the other one is Pembrush and voice I do have to say this is quite a problem only 55 culture in a Pembrush and voice golden age it, it does actually smell like a problem for Korea yeah. Uh, let's go and Sasu's calling out they're busily asking from uh, behind where 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 uh, we're going where where 
um, with um, <clears throat> yeah, Fatman also putting more pressure on Spain, we're probably going to see the attack uh, started off soon on another wave of units. I do see that, um, first of all, the general is still there and uh, he would need to actually get a little bit further. Uh, while I do notice uh, this Corsair course could just switch direction, uh, it's, oh my god, I guess I gotta say it again. It's not ideal at all to actually try to attack into the best city of your opponent, the most defensive city, while yes, I do understand you know you're gonna be like manly man because you're actually gonna take down this uh, biggest fortress of them all it's also kind of a trap right you want to hit your opponent where he where he is weak not where he is uh, strong uh, so you don't get uh, trapped into something you basically want to guarantee your um your offense and uh yeah let's see no he's uh, he's actually just gonna start tapping the knights away okay well, start tapping away. Uh, next time, we're probably going to see a few of these switched. Uh, one knight is definitely going to go down. I don't know if the second one will. And of course, we're going to need to see if uh, there is any kind of uh, counter attack here. Now, with a uh, new Corsair course being built and sent uh, towards the front line, <clears throat> he might get to recover enough units or uh, replace enough units that he could just keep on going. And then there we go. Another knight just takes this place to the lost one. And of course, Fatman here is going to need to do the same thing to this one that he did to the first one. Adam Sandler is so much Simpson in the Simpsons live action movie concept trailer. Wait, wait, wait. You see? That's that's cool. Hey, I mean, the guy is a really talented voice, right? Conquistadors also upgraded from uh, Spain. These are actually going to do more damage than the Corsairs, the 74 strength. And I do have to say, right now, they're not actually getting the bonus because Zulu doesn't have a religion here. Uh, we do have uh, Sundiata with no religion either. He did manage to get Ib Khaldun. And of course with Colosseum, he's actually going to jump up significantly. He's 259 science and 150 culture. This guy is just seeming uh, ahead of everybody. Now we do have the Manor Raiders actually uh, turning around to go towards Hungary's borders in Debrecen. And they will start uh, just probably just moving around the Spearman because, you know, why not? Uh, and uh, trying to pillage the commercial, the campus, and of course the mines of his opponent's city. So we um, right now have Hungary in a bit of a predicament. The city of Eger is getting under attack by caravels from Russia. We do have Temprot uh, also getting attacked by some of the horses on the east, keeping him on his toes. While I do notice there isn't really that much defense in the city of Egypt, that's going to put uh, Hungary down to four cities. He does have Tatabania here. This would be actually the most valuable target that Mapuche could go against. This city right here. This is a lot of that economy of uh, Philip II and Matthias Corvinus just passing through that city with Reina. Uh, the trailer was posted to YouTube by Multiverse of AI. I don't know what Multiverse of AI. It features an addition with uh, Adam Sandler's voices generated by AI with the actor imagined to be introducing the rest of his family. Uh, so basically, he's not actually acting. So uh, I'm actually, I don't really like this. I don't think uh, AI can replace the true um, uh, nature of an actor or even a voiceover. It, it just cannot uh, do the little details that um, uh, that an actor would do. Or that a person would do, not an actor, a person would do. And um, it's the same thing that we have with uh, AIs in the game, right? Because they are used to working with basically like matrices instead of working like uh, the human brain for, um, 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 how to say, with a lot more flexibility going on, with a lot more uh, choices available for them in their mind and so on and so forth. Uh, it usually narrows down the ability of the AI to actually become uh, human, which takes away all of the joy of it. Like, it's fun for one, two, three times. Ah, like he did this, he did that, but then it starts getting old really quickly. While uh, humans just, just look at uh, Gabriel Iglesias, man, or uh, so many comedians that are just gold they're gold i tell you they're gold i can't even i can't even compare myself to them that's uh, extremely big extremely big but i am learning i am learning and i do hope it shows anyway uh, we do have uh, spain getting attacked and it looks like he's getting smooshed uh, in between these uh, coarser cores and of course uh, <clears throat> the units of spain we do have a trebuchet on the front line that will need to take down the walls uh, this trebuchet does seem like it will slowly slowly knock down the walls uh peter is with negative G uh, gpd yeah but he's being negative for so long but look at uh Sundiata just jumping up to 300 you know casually jumping up to 316 points of gold per turn unbelievable 
Okay, uh, new conquistadors are gonna help out uh, with the defense. Jeru is on 113 science with 88 culture. He is not yet close to getting um, the core ability, but these conquistadors can one tap the coarser, the damage coarser cores, and this is gonna give him a significant advantage against Spain here. Uh, we do have uh, the missionaries uh, starting to get next to these, and of course this is how they get an extra plus five on those units. Uh, I do see he's keeping the choke in the north uh, intact, and it does seem like at the moment um, Zulu is making the mistake of not actually getting ranged units to go this is actually a heavy mistake uh, no ranged units no trebuchet cores no nothing uh, on the front line uh, I do see the Mapuche Malorators are actually going towards Tatabania. Uh, the Hungarian city does have a few juicy tiles to take. I do see um, two mines over here to the east side and also a commercial that he could hit and take those uh, cities out. Not to mention Cordoba is also quite um, easy to get. There's no unit defending this city center while we do have a Coquistador coming out from Madrid. I'm pretty sure he's going left to try to fend off attacks and not going right. I do also notice Korea is starting to build quadrims. So he might actually try to pull off an attack on the coast, but he's still going for metal casting to try to um, do the damage against Zulu uh, while building up that fleet in the north and uh, repairing it. You know, we didn't actually have that much damage being done or any damage being done to Zulu. Uh, these two cities are coastal. He can't get to them though. Uh, Zulu does need a bit of gold to upgrade his units. It shouldn't be a problem, especially with uh, Kea Bambi over there on the bottoms. Uh, Mapuche did manage to get those cities in the south, uh, did fend off attacks from Egypt and I do see him uh, still doing damage over here. <clears throat> the Egyptian uh, knights did get pushed out be, uh, after they did manage to get one of these uh, mine pillaged and of course with the crossbow he is doing these, uh, this initial damage against his opponent here. Not bad, like, look, look how well the crossbows actually deal damage against the knights. Beautiful, just beautiful. Okay, it kind of feels like uh, Zulu's attack is going to falter here. <clears throat> Why do I have this impression? Okay. 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 Well, that's still going to get two tapped by the Conquistador. And this one is going to need to get uh, the promotion and get the pillage from that rise to get back to full HP. Now he's doing the damage with um, the city center. Oh, wait a second. He's doing the damage with the trebuchet on the city center. And I'm actually curious. Does he have uh, an attack? I don't think so, right? Spain doesn't have an attack anymore from Vilnius because this Scorzer should have been uh, taken out. Anyway. Uh, Manor Raiders are like two turns out from hitting the city of uh, Tatabania. They're just crossing the, the river towards the south uh, from the south of Granada. And uh, I do see the north of Mali is putting a few units uh, on the front line of the south uh, to try to fend off any counterattack. It doesn't seem like it's happening. Uh, getting in camels from Kirina and uh, building up his um, <laughs> science to 300 points a turn is giving him such an advantage. Uh, City of Eger is about to go down next turn. 57 fan did manage to take out uh, most of the galleys and now he's just chewing through that uh, city's defense to uh, get it done, get it down. Uh, more universities coming in. He is on 109 science and 123 culture, uh, 134 culture, while uh, Temp route is on 64 and uh, 51. Definitely would have needed a lot more if he wanted to fend off attacks here. Yeah, definitely would have needed a lot more. I am so... Hmm. Oh, I, I definitely think the city placement over here on Hungary needed to be way different. So first of all, it would have been a must to actually move uh, from the first turn on the Gavron Plaza tile to get uh, those bonuses going uh, over the river. Debrecen shouldn't have been placed like this. It should have been either on that um, uh, campus placement or across the river if he actually wanted to get for the full bonus. But I think the campus tile would have been nice anyway. Uh, he would have had another city in the north, the cattle settle, and I do see Pecs definitely would have needed to be placed here on the 2-3. Uh, this these small changes would have made such a big difference in Hungary. Remember, you get that 50% off, right? 50% off from the pearl of the Danube. So let me put it up on the screen. 50% to uh, to districts and buildings constructed across the river. It is so valuable, extremely valuable. 
And there we go. Another city has been taken out from um, uh, Hungary and his city in Tatabania is also going to be under attack soon. There's only one single de possible defensive unit, the Warrior, which is going to get two tap or one tap extremely easily if the Manor Raiders actually get close to it. They just need to look at him funny. Uh, this city... Oh my god, he lost the second city. Is this a sin? I mean, this must be a sin. Guys, chat, 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 chat. Egypt put two cities in the same spot and both of them got taken down. This must be a sin. I mean, on one city, I understand. You lost it. You didn't know. You know, Malorators came through the forest. You were drunk. Uh, you had a rough night. It's understandable. But second time? Really, second time? You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, he remade the city and lost it in the same place. So it was in the same place. Come on, guys. We watched this happen, right? We watched the first city take over and then he said another setter and he put it down right there. We saw it happen. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. You know, okay. Sipsin activated. Two Sipsins in this game. Ooh, I don't know. Can we get a three? Can we get a three one? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, Mapuche is actually closing in on uh, Egypt right now with uh, Malo Raiders. And it doesn't mean like he broke apart uh, the Egyptian army in two. Uh, some of them went back to Mendes. Some of them actually took a left turn. And we do have uh, two turning Malo Raiders uh, coming out from most cities of Mapuche. With the road toward the southwest, that seemed like he did connect his economy with Russia. And uh, from now on, Russia doesn't need to worry about his north anymore. What Russia will probably do is get Cossacks soon. We do have him going for engineering. Bottom three, nationalism coming up in two turns and since we're six turns away from the next era we definitely need to see how things are evolving here now with uh, pikey shots also trying to defend the fend off attacks from zulu looks like uh, zulu three turns siege tactics he's not going man he's not going ballistics shaka what are you doing my friend uh, he did manage to put the pressure on Vilnius and of course that trebuchet keeps on chipping away the uh, city center strength, especially that fortification strength. Uh, the man, uh, the, his uh, Corsairs are going to take a beating from the Conquistador soon. They're going to start lashing out and we do need to see if Farman is going to have enough units to keep on replacing these to keep the pressure on Vilnius. With, uh, yeah, there we go. First one taken out. I think Farman just got a taste of what's going to happen here if he doesn't get more units. Now, we do also need to see how Ungundurolov is going to get defended. These level 2 Hawachas are not something you want to joke about. Any 85 strength on those units can do so much damage. Uh, even to Musketmen, by the way. They, they just one tap Musketmen. Easy peasy. You do see this? 85 versus 60. Poof! It just goes poof! Uh, Malon tanks when? Mammalian, mammalian tanks? Mammalian tanks? I don't know, sir. I don't know. I'm Hazel. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Uh, the game, well, I don't know if it's uh, it finished right now, but it does definitely feel like the Ledo Reeves do have the advantage uh, over here. I don't have uh, to say a massive army of Russia is starting to show up on the west side, and I think Cossacks are actually going to go towards Spain, while um, the city of Tatabania is going to be taken down. We might actually see the CC soon. This is so important for their economy, by the way. So important. I can't wait to see how much gold they're going to lose because of this, as in how much GPT, because uh, most of the trade routes are actually going through this city. One, two, three, four, five, six trade routes are going through that city. Seven. Oh. Seven, eight trade routes are going through that city center. That is an insane amount of trade routes. The city is uh, most settling that city is being uh, competent enough to lose it again. Yes. Oh, yeah, the sin is not just settling the city. It is, and I would not really call that name, um, <clears throat> being, how do you call it? Um, not being able to see what you need for the defense in front of that city two pikemen and that city would have been safe that's it two pikemen and that city would have been safe even one pike i think even one pikeman and still that city would have been safe anyway
a uh, few courses are coming in and it does look like uh, Mapuche is uh, more concerned about cleaning up house over here on, um, from Egypt's units uh, while I do see him getting the manual leaders we do need to see where they're gonna go I think north but maybe that's just my impression uh, we do have them uh, coming out next time and of course we're gonna get to see where they're going towards uh, Sun Dog did jump up to 150 science and 60 culture and of course that science is gonna be his for the next part uh, while we do need to see how quickly Zulu can actually get to his ballet it does seem like he's going calves over here and not going for ballistics. Uh, Villiers is uh, still getting attacked by the trebuchet, which is going to finish the job on the walls, but still the city center is going to be there. I can't believe um, Zulu did get so strung up on this city center that he never actually considered going towards the south. There was a single slinger actually defending the city of Valadoli for the longest time. Well, I also want to point out if Zulu is not going to be uh, finishing the job here, it is definitely going to be Russia coming in to finish the job. Like we, we got we got already quite a few units coming around from multiple cities of Russia, and these are just uh, sorry, uh, Cossack waiting room, man. Uh, machinery coming out from C57 fan, getting more science, 112, 150 culture. Uh, we do need to see also production and faith, 376 faith a turn. That's basically like two courses a turn here, not to mention 278 um, production that he can. Yeah, there we go. He's just buying out these units. He has 800 faith in the bank. He just can keep on buying courses until there is no tomorrow. Whew. Uh, rip the trade routes. Did they go? Did they go poof? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where, where were they? What? Oh, here. Yeah. They rip the trade routes. Where's the gold? No more gold. 14, 44, 22, and 57. No more gold per turn. That's it. L look how much damage just one city uh, taken, being taken over did to, his op to their opponents. Unbelievable. That one city, Tatabania. Okay, looks like Mapuche is actually going to split these units up. Some of them are going west, some of them are going north. Uh, he's not actually um, focusing his efforts on uh, somebody. Okay. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Well, we do have a few knights uh, coming around here from Zulu, and I we do need to see how these uh, crossbows are going to fare. I'm pretty sure the Hawachas with the generals can move and shoot, and uh, they do need to two-tap the, the crossbows. The Alcas are actually giving a few more points of defense here for those crossbow and cores. It's uh, giving them a bit of a life. Wow, they can actually uh, shoot back and move out of the way. Uh, with Knight Cores coming in from Ungum to the Lobut, uh, I am actually curious if he can do the tap. No, the Hawachas actually get uh, gets, get enough damage on the defense to help support that. And there we go. Hawachas moving in. Uh, walls going up in Gundundulovu. Hawachas can shoot through the walls. Uh, shouldn't be that big of an issue. And we do need to see if the crossbows are... Oh, 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 oh! Crossbowman core is doing double attacks on Stulius' uh, Hawacha. The level 2 is in danger. That's one of three Hawachas that are available for Stulius to actually uh, attack his opponent with. And I do have to mention, Sundok is one turn away from Ballistics, while Fatman is still dabbling with Siege Tactics. Well, it looks like um, what he learned from Vilnius wasn't that important on Siege Tactics. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, no first move over here on Zulu. But that still actually pushed out uh, Korea from his borders. It forced Korea to actually retreat the Hawachas. Or at least one tile, one tile. Uh, where are the Manor Raiders going? Manor Raiders... They're going south. They're actually going to keep on pillaging uh, Spain here. Okay, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10, 11, 11 coursers available for Russia. Getting siege tactics next time, he's going to be extremely quickly on military science, extremely quickly, like in the, in the next few turns. We do have, uh, yeah, we did have to take a look how Mali is going to play this out. Looks like Potala Palace is going to finish in 12 turns. Uh, he, did he get a uh, religion and did he get Mahabodhi Temple? Uh, no on both counts. So, yes, he was actually trying to grab some of these Diplo points. And we do have him on 5 out of 20. Um, Potala is going to give him a 6 out of 20. And, uh, yes, uh, Statue of Liberty is still available. We still have uh, available for him to get uh, Mahabodhi Temple. Even though I'm not sure exactly where he's going to place it. But, sure, I mean, he could get it here in North August if he wants to. 
yeah anyway uh, uh, on Korea's uh, western side, he still has uh, quite a bit of a military. Unfortunately, he cannot use it. Korea is uh, keeping on building his squadrons from the north uh, with the plan in mind to actually attack Zulu on the coast. Uh, we do have uh, Zulu field cannon, of course, uh, right now upgraded. And these Hawachas are out of their uh, league right now. Like with Zulu actually getting ballistics. And I gotta say, he actually did uh, wait for the boost for it and did, did very well to actually keep this up. I, I like this. I like this, what he did. I like, I very much like this. I doubt it, but it doesn't look like uh, my doubts were founded. Yeah, you know, I'm a big man. I can accept that. It is one of this. Hmm. One second. Hmm. I'm sorry, got distracted by uh, text messages. Let me uh, see this. Oh, Egypt is seeing in the south over there, a builder just uh, swimming in the water and it looks like uh, immediately Russia sent a warrior to help him out uh, while uh, Russia is getting printing in two tens. Looks like military science is going to be discovered all across the board here in uh, the Durives team. Uh, and we do have a GG being called out. Oh, Le Durives goes into the third division by the looks of it. That's going to be quite a challenge for them while we do have the Confitorings. I'm not sure, but I think that actually, uh, I'm not sure how this works actually on CBFR. Uh, we could ask them uh, soon, even though I don't really want to actually, you know, rub it in. Uh, so, <clears throat> I think we're just going to um, focus on the winners, on Ledu Reeves actually getting a place in um, Division 3 of the CBFR squadrons. Very, I mean, come on, let's be real. They did good plays over here with Russia coming in, defending with that Mapuche, just being what Mapuche needs to be doing, right? And we did also have uh, Sundianta Keita just coming out of nowhere and getting so much chance and culture not to mention the goal for them this was very beautiful actually uh, we got to see Mali in action for for a change here uh, still getting distracted by words Okay, let's uh, let's see what the boys are gonna have to say about this. Uh, just give me a second to switch my things over here and click on buttons. <clears throat> User settings, 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 settings. This. Uh, oh, oh, wait, it's uh, the other button. Sorry. Uh, this. There we go. On a perdu contre Mali. Euh... Non, mais overall, je pense que notre draft était pas méta. Euh... Ouais, ouais, on a, on a un très mauvais méta read. Euh... Bah, vous reprenez tous ces vacances, hein, littéralement, ce qu'on t'en fait. On n'a pas joué tous depuis un mois, donc. <rire> Everything good on the <rire> sound, right? You can hear them properly. Tu as l'Egypte sur cette carte, par exemple, parce que tu as, as assez peu de, de float lanes, donc. Euh... Bah, après, l'Egypte, c'est pas mal, parce que c'est un truc, c'est un pic assez safe, ça fait beaucoup de call, ça sim correctement. Bon, C'était ce qu'on disait, ce qu disait un petit peu sur le cast avec Shumin, c'est que on voyait vraiment la, la, la draft du patch d'avant en fait. <rire> ah ouais, non mais ah, on, passé, non, on, est, on est resté patch d'avant de toute façon. Ouais. C'est ouais, on dock, c'est méta quand même. Ouais, c'est on dock, c'est excellent. Ouais, 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 non mais à part ouais. Euh... Bon, on a hésité à la trade en fait, on a hésité à battre ban c'est un dock et en fait on s'est dit. Mais je pense que c'est un dock contre Mali, bon. Ouais, on a pas 
Oh, puis le petit mapuche confort là, puis. Euh... Ouais, juste le mapuche qui nous, qui nous force tous à apprendre. Ouais, il y a eu un cumul de pas mal de trucs, hein, parce que globalement, j'ai l'impression que dans leur BO, bah, tu sentais qu'ils étaient plus à l'aise du côté des deux rives, qu'ils ont joué, qu'ils savent encore un peu ce qu'ils font. Là, où vous étiez un peu trop très vos marques, ça s'est senti, notamment chez Tempête, là, c'était compliqué. <rire> Et en plus, en plus d'avoir des pics qui étaient quand même assez solides, euh, en tout cas plus solides au niveau de la méta. Ils ont quand même trois pics à quartier unique, ce qui fait qu'ils ont beau avoir open sur beaucoup de villes, ils avaient quand même des quartiers qui étaient relevant. Euh, par rapport à vous qui jouez plus sur une méta ancestrale, où vous êtes resté longtemps sur trois villes et tout, genre ça, ça s'étale très 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 vite chez Hyder Rive, et ils avaient raison de le faire. Et au-delà de ça, ils ont eu aussi un petit peu de chance qu'il y a, au niveau des, des catastrophes naturelles qui a encore plus accéléré. Ah oui, c'est vrai. Déjà un avantage ah, qui a déjà un avantage. Non, non, non. Ma game, non, non, hein, non. Parce que sinon, ma game, bon, ma game elle ressemble à rien. Disons, à disons que j'ai vu des 2-3 et des 2-4 sur la Russie euh, à un moment. Sur la, Russie, B2, 19 et... cases. la Russie, il y a 19 cases. La Russie, il y a 19 cases sur son. Ah ah Mais c'est pas. C'est pas pour prendre. C'est pas de Toundra qui a fait tiens, je vais aller voir. Et du coup, j'envoie le colon là. Il découvre un giga, ouais, un giga ouais, de forêt. Avec, euh, avec et et honnêtement, je pense que le, le, le truc qui a eu le plus d'impact sur la game, c'est la tempête de désert en early sur le Mali. Qui lui ouais, a donné des, des tailles incroyables. Et donc déjà, qui était à partir d'une grosse tempo, il en a eu encore plus. Et c'était... Ah, bah, tu lui as filé beaucoup là, c'était l'envol. Il n'y de... a, a même pas eu de part de pop en plus. Sur la... Bah, voilà, euh, tour, mais tour... Le, la méta, la méta, et la draft, après vous nous dites ça. Ah, euh, à un moment, tour 50, je lève les yeux, je vois, je vois, le, je vois le Mali en 120-120, mec. C'est cloud draft, les gars, let's go. Non, mais, pas, non, mais les, les catastrophes naturelles, c'est pas, pas ça, 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 ça fait pas la game. C'est juste la petite plus, tu vois. C'est juste la petite coute en plus, histoire de bien Globalement, honnêtement, les deux rimes, Non, mais le, le Mali qui peut taille toutes les CS, euh, ça se joue à de la tempo euh, sur la culture aussi. Mais, mais d'ailleurs, en parlant de ça, euh, pourquoi vous n'avez jamais levé Johannesburg pourquoi la, ouais, Johannesburg. Dans... pourquoi la Mani juste dans Border Brunner Alors, Au départ, j'ai cru que c'était une question d'âge d'or. Et je me dis, t'envoies la route oh, et puis tu es sur les poneys. Ouais, puis moi je lui dis, en fait, il, il a vu que j'étais là, il veut quand même lever Bandar, et ça, il a vu que j'avais des bonnes cases, ça va prendre un peu de temps, mais il va arriver. Non, on voulait, on voulait lever des CS autour de... du Mali et il voulait trade d'abord en fait, sur Bandar. Ouais, en fait, je voulais trade sur Bandar parce que c'est je pas faire Maxi. C'est dommage. Je... Moi, je pense que c'est la plus grosse erreur. Parce que ouais, le de Mathias, quoi. Ouais, t'as le Zulu, t'as as la Johannesburg qui a 5 guerriers, 4 autres que ça. Oui, et, mais et le en fait, j'ai eu. En fait, très vite. 45, un truc comme ça. Très vite, ça s'use Grenade, Nanodol, dont on voit Rapanui qui est suse aussi. Donc, euh, au début, le plan, c'était de contest Rapanui, mais il avait mis que 3. Nanodol et Grenade, j'avais chacun de ses dedans. Ouais. Donc en fait, c'est venu assez naturellement de juste Suze Nanadol euh, parce qu'il y avait une ville littéralement aux frontières. Euh, non, c'était Grenade ça. Mais il y en avait, ouais, avait des villes assez proches. Ouais, euh... bah, au début, je l'ai pas, on a très peu de poney. Et donc en fait, si tu, si tu fais un play euh, de hongrois agressif avec des, des spades, tu peux faire très mal ou avec Grenade ou avec Nanadol. En fait, tu pouvais. J'ai eu assez late le travail du bronze aussi. Donc, euh, Littéralement, tu pouvais, tu pouvais détruire la game de Fatman hein, avec euh, Johannes Bourg. Hein. Vraiment. Ouais. Parce que tu chasses ouais, bah, Fatman, il, a... il était à 12 de dev, tour 45, un truc comme ça. Hein. Ouais, le, le, le col, c'était le gêné le Mali plus que le Je, 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 je reste, je reste à 12. Parce, parce que la, la coco co, la coréen papa j'ai l'a déjà bien le bien respecté j'en suis en campement et en restant sur très peu de villes alors je... ouais. ça joue tout ah, c'est la corée hein. ça, ça ouais, en, fait, nous, ah. en fait moi j'étais vraiment une vision sur le mali pour le coup et je sais pas il y a ça je pour euh... Ouais, c'est dommage. Et honnêtement, c'est dommage. Après, bon, c'est facile à dire, nous, on a une autre vision de spec. Ouais, ouais, c'est sûr. C'est un peu plus de 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 plus It was saying for the others i'm sorry uh, they speak extremely fast and it's very hard for me to actually uh, translate i'm pretty sure they were talking about uh, <clears throat> 
the spawners of the other Keita over here and what he was doing with the cities and so on and so forth and he was mentioning he had like beautiful cities uh, here and a beautiful city there um i do want to also want to congratulate over here if they will watch this back uh, i do want to congratulate ledo reeves for actually uh, winning this game against the uh, le confito rings uh, i do think le confito rings were in the first game in this setup um not sure if uh, ledo reeves are actually in the same uh, setup but there were quite a few um, changes that were done in the merchant period in the mercato period actually they have right now when um, the teams are switching or i should say the players are switching teams and uh, from one to the other now uh, i do want to thank you so much by the way for the gifts for the um, um uh, subscriptions for the primes for the bits for every bit of support you are actually giving the stream much says i do also want to thank you for the likes on youtube ah don't forget to like over there we didn't get to 40 today but we did get to 30 which is very important i do also want to um, uh, give a big shout out tomorrow 1800 gmt we do have the second three leg race and we're going to need to see who's going to win that one not to mention rooster cup coming in after we had the qualifiers last um weekend we're gonna have on sunday the finals and we're going to need to see who from those 10 boys that did get in and bonze girls that did get in into the finals will actually manage to get the prizes have a great evening everybody and thank you so much for joining i do hope we're going to see each other next time you can take a look at my discord uh, for um, uh, more details about the upcoming games i do have them um, displayed over there in multiple channels uh, and of course i do try to update them as quickly as possible on discord rather than uh, everywhere else it's just uh, much easier to go uh, uh yes yes i know Kolganas. yes um they are speaking about the city hunger and tourists ask why don't they use johannesburg that's also uh, interesting question thank you Kolgananas. i was actually referring to what they said earlier because at some point i just phase out i'm sorry i'm sorry have a great evening everybody and let's see each other in the next stream bye bye, -bye.